Hello everyone, welcome back to Mr. Eastland Plays. I'm your host, Mr. Eastland, and we are back with more Genshin Impact. I was just doing some quick, um, uh, some quick weeklies. Uh, I'm, I'm doing Adzeha or whatever his name is. And I just needed to, uh, heal up a little bit because I've been playing a little aggro right now. Okay, there it is. And then we'll get into the good stuff. I thought maybe I could finish this before uh, needing to go live, but my timer finished a little early. There we go. I didn't realize I was uh, that close, actually. I wasn't watching the health bar as much as I maybe should have. All right, let's do that. Anything good? Nope. Very cool. Uh, it's so rare to get any sort of get the billet or whatever they're called. I also have the commissions to do. You know, I might. While we get people in here, since I think it's just, yeah, people have not found their way here just yet. So I'll go ahead and do the commissions really quick. If you're watching the VOD, you can go ahead and skip through. Unless you want to watch. In which case, you absolutely should. Yo! Thank you for helping out. 100%. Alright, let's do that. Welcome, Exotic. Thanks for joining. <laughs> Exotic has the points to burn. Let's do that first, actually. Before we start this how are you doing how are you doing um all right let's see if i break pity or not yeah <laughs> okay oh man okay 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 let's see if we get it call a Did it lose the 50-50 or not? No! Oh! 50-50 has been won, son. Yo. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for giving me Geo Daddy. I appreciate it. Ooh, baby. Oh, by the way, so here's what I'm doing. Zhang Li is mine, friends. Thank you. Thank you. Where is he? There he is. Unfortunately, I have no... Uh... This wine tastes the same as I remember. <laughs> but where are those? Also, you can't... You head to, you're at a restaurant? Oh, all right. Well, everyone's eating right now. Wow, okay. Um, oh, I've got Constellation here. When in party and not on the field, energy recharge increased by 20%. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Good to have that off-field Dendro going. I don't like the cat. I didn't realize the constellation was a little kitty. Cute. Um, I burned all of my experience stuff, so I can't even get him up to Osmantis level 20 right now. Wine tastes the same as I remember. Well, that's fun. That's fun. So, oh, um, before y'all go, if you haven't gone already, uh, I updated the Wish channel point reward. So, here's what I'm going to do. 1600 gets you one Wish. Uh, and that'll be static throughout. If I have to buy Wishes, I'll do that. But they'll be either standard or, or event. In which case, I've got 13 standard. So that's enough to last me however many times y'all want to do it. There's a cooldown of 15 minutes. You can do it five times per stream. And yeah. That's that's pretty much it. So if you got the points to do it and you want to see me make a wish on the standard poll, it's right here. Where, where are they? Okay, here we go. All you die, please. Thank you. Everybody stand up as one with wind and cloud. There we 
go. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna do this and kill them all. And one more. There we go. Fall down, please. Uh, this one should be quick. Oh, this is a, uh, shoot the balloon one. I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh my gosh, of course I got aggroed. Gosh, get... No, no this. Uh, gun you. What am I or... So, now that I have um, Zhongli, now in order to get Kusanali, I have to build up that soft pity again. Which means, which actually means uh, I, I'm okay getting, uh, trying for Kokomi. Just doing some pity build up pulls for Kokomi. Wait, is there one more out here? Yeah, that's right. We'll do this first. Because I do want to pull for Kusanali, but I don't want to, like, burn all of my primos in case I have to do a... Um, in case I lose the 50-50 and have to go to Pity twice. Which, I'm at one... I'm at 100 pulls right now. So if I can get another 100 pulls see this chest and I just am gravitating towards it right now I do starting off with a little bit of exploration here um excuse me ow all you die please I'll get a good melt on that thank you treasures are a cause for great happiness and i'll just grab uh, this material over here okay what is it what is over here oh it's just beat up some heli churls is that it one small step for heli churls yep three point i'm going next on the off ring cutter illusion shatter and y'all dead Oh, I gotta go till not okay. There's more after this. There is no escape. Y'all are back here. Come on. Please over. Don't do that to me. You got your beef and broccoli? You nice. Let's light it up. No my sword. Of course you block that, you dummy. Born of ice and frost. grab the rest of the materials and then we got one more commission how's everyone's monday today i know some of y'all have started school fuzzy if you're here congrats on your class getting canceled for the day or maybe you're disappointed okay i don't i don't care to read this What am I supposed to do? Um, um, sure. Oh, he just wants dandelions? Okay, that's fine. I've been burning dandelions for um, Geoculus and Animoculus uh, resonance stones, and I'm glad I still have some. That would have been annoying to have to fetch. What is, hold on, what is exclamation point in here? There's nothing here to do, game. I'm not sure what, what you're asking me to do. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Oop. 
grab the key while I'm remembering to do that. All right, now we can keep going. You were late to school. Oh, no, what happened? What happened? Oh, but I explored a lot of the, um, the map, by the way. As you can see, most of it is covered. There are some things here and there I haven't had a chance to explore just yet. But I have this last waypoint in Port Ormos, so I can uh, so I can activate the next part of this quest. I'm excited. Last we left off is we were going to Port Ormos to do something. Um, I honestly don't remember. We'll we'll catch up for it. We we have the festival that's up incoming, and we're looking for leads about. Lesser Lord Kusanali. Oh no. <laughs> Siblings, am I right? You know what? Let me activate that quest. I don't know where exactly I'm supposed to go. Oh, of course I missed it. Yo, I love this jam. I didn't know Port Oromos had such a such a banger. Okay, here's the waypoint. Let's go. Come and have a good look yourself. Traditional Ooh, spices merchants. of the highest quality. Made with pride and experience. Ooh, that's public. Crowded public transportation is never a fun, fun deal. <laughs> You've got a deal. I can't thank you enough for always looking after my business. Believe me, I'm not making this up. Interesting. Mercenary groups Selling really both goods and conflict. information. But does the core of thirty care? Early <laughs> pearly? Okay, Paimon. Guess that's only to be expected for the largest port in Sumeru. Uh, maybe it's because mm, it was this is like the rougher Sumeru, part of town. But Paimon can't seem to shake the feeling that there's also danger. Lurking. It's okay, we're the protagonist. We've the done a lot more intimidating things. Oh, that's right, we're looking for what the academia lost. lost. That's right, that's right, that's right. And it might be related to Kusanali. That's right. I remember now. Hmm. Oswin told us to try posing as academia students while asking around. Paimon checked the Akash out on the way here, and the academia doesn't seem to have any research facilities in Port. Paimon doesn't So it would be a tough story to spin, right? even more suspicious going around saying we're academia students and asking about figure the that, uh, Figuring that out could be crucial. To, yeah, we need to figure that out. Well, sure. All right, let's ask around. Let's do some intel gathering, shall we? Let's see. Elham, the tailor, what do you got Welcome. for us? Welcome. Uh, how can I help you too? Uh, Textiles, a very important industry and in the inspiration behind this uh, land. Do students from the academia ever come to Port Ormos? <laughs> of course. Especially around oh, this around this time, time of year. Oh. Oh, uh, we're going to be some party Orms, people. Many people often talk about how hard it is to get accepted into the academia, let alone graduate. But those who finish their studies and go on to become full-time researchers have it even harder. Huh? Have it even hard. Sure, we may not be Sumero City. Port offers beautiful scenery I don't know. I feel like if there's a lot of crime, that's pretty stressful. Some even say it's good, good luck to come to Port Ormos. Okay. So students and researchers come. Ah, you see over there? Those are students <laughs> oh. from academia. Look pretty They've serious. Been looking worried and miserable ever since they got here a few days ago. If you ask me, the life of a merchant is better. So long as the Akasha teaches us what we need. I guess that's true. If everything you could ever want to know is in your little... Oh, Lisa went there? Oh, interesting. 
That's a little piece of lore I didn't know. Yeah, I guess if you have, like, Google in the side of your head, like, why would you need to go to school? Like, you have all the information you need already. Oh, so now we're doing some eavesdropping. What is the life of a student like? Sounds good. I've tried asking around, but I haven't been able to learn anything useful. Not to mention that a bunch of scary-looking Aramite mercenaries have been posted along the streets. Oh, now. but they're they're also looking for There's the item. There's been a lot of fighting between the different Aramite factions in Port Ormos. If we choose to move on our own, then it would be wise to steer clear of them. Especially the group that's constantly shouting some stuff about the Scarlet King and some resurrection. I've even heard that the Yikes. Citadel of Rebzar is starting to get fed up with them. Yikes. What was that group called again? Ein something or other? They're called Ein El Achmar. Ein El Achmar. Triple A. Thing we're after might be in their possession at the moment. So we gotta go after Triple A. All right. Cool. Come again? Don't oh, is that what you knew heard? Many of the Aramites in Port Ormos deal with trading this kind of thing. They're usually pretty wary of outsiders, but not so with students of the academia. It's because the kind of goods that students are looking for aren't the kind of goods that Aramites are after. As long as they know you're a student, then deals can be made. I've heard that Ein El Hawkmar hmm. likes to set up shop at the Jafar Tavern. This is all good information. If you're willing to part with half a million Half Mora, a million more? Give you info on anything. Actually, I do have half a million half a million more to burn. Wait, surprisingly. Did you say half a million? If information I have something like eight motion, million more right now. To buy what we're looking for. <sighs> I guess we might as well give up on trying to graduate this way. This way? Oh, is there a bargain being set up where if you find the lost item, you automatically graduate? I wouldn't worry too much. Our field of research is very niche. Who else could possibly be after that kind of shady knowledge? I bet it's practically worthless to anyone aside from us. Hmm. I guess that makes sense. Hmm. And the only thing left for us now is to find a way in. Why don't we all just pool our money together and pay for the information? Wow. Did you hear that? A niche field of a research and shady field knowledge. Field and shady knowledge? It all sounds pretty suspicious. Yeah, wh whatever was stolen from the it academia is also so related to knowledge. Science. So, what this. The thing that the academia lost was like information. It sounds like they missed messed up like a hard drive or something, or the Tavat equivalent of a hard drive with information on it. Yeah, imagine that method being used in the real world. World. Uh, let's just go to the tavern. Yeah, let's go shake these guys down. To the tavern. I wonder if the, the game will actually make me give up half a million more. I honestly don't know if I would do that. Where am I supposed to be going here? Okay, I'm going the wrong way. It's supposed to be going lower. Okay, gotta go all the way out of here. These towns are freaking big, man. Like, Liyue had one big town. Inazuma had two big towns. This place seems to have three big ten towns. Okay. Here we go. So what are these guys going to be talking about? can go toe-to-toe with the boss? Once we reclaim the power of the Scarlet King, they'll be the mm -hmm. first that the boss punishes. I wonder if the Scarlet King is related to the Withering, because the Withering has kind of that red <laughs> thing going to for be it. Afraid of. Our main rival now is the Caracol Battalion. Mm -hmm. They've also amassed a significant amount of more at this time, so we mustn't underestimate. How can the Caracol Battalion compete with the boss when they're nothing but a bunch of money grubbing opportunists out for a quick more? Right, that's what I, that's what I think so too, uh, Exotic. Boss's fervent devotion. He'll and me too. To use this Pay money to go through quests faster. This time. Huh. All these guys talk about is the Scarlet King. So the <laughs> greater Lord Ruka Devata. That traitor and her followers must not be spared. 
Oh, interesting. The king exacts vengeance on Sumeru, and all of them shall be punished. Yeah, Bruga Devada, a traitor. Yeah, traitor. Oh, sorry, Paimon. Oh, am I just gonna talk to him? Okay, I'll talk to him. Let's go. Huh? Who are you? What do you want? Oh, what should I say? Uh, uh, I don't want to say I'm a student now. I don't think they'd believe me. A traveler. Oh, did I mess that up? <laughs> Whoops. A student? Huh. What's a student from Sumeru City doing in Port Ormos? I'm just here to, yeah, looking for students. Ah, oh, we're, so we're just go to the right place. and inquiring about the deal. Can I can just hand him 50,000 more, 500,000 more. I'm going to try handing him 50 more. <laughs> <laughs> what what happens if I do? Uh, what is this? Some yeah. kind of joke? Haha, uh -huh, funny. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. He must have grabbed the wrong mount. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? I'm going to choose all the wrong. Oh my god, I actually do hand him 500,000 more. Oh, I don't even <laughs> Here. This is the merchant's address. Whatever you're looking for. No like way. Hmm? Well, what are you waiting for? Or archaeological yeah, yeah, whatever. Fine. Archaeology student. Since you've already handed over the Mora, I guess I can throw in a little extra info. Yeah, why don't you recruit me right now? As Come you on. See, You're very obsessed. Ainalachmar are devout believers of the Scarlet King. Years ago, the Scarlet King founded the Great Desert Nation that was our homeland. It was the Great Desert Nation. Okay. Far beyond anything you'll see in present. Oh, Sumer, really? The Scarlet King was the rightful god of wisdom, but he was betrayed by a companion he trusted. She even stripped him of his title, God of Wisdom. Oh, ho, ho. so the Scarlet King and Ruga Devada were companions. So you mean the traitor was Greater Lord Ruka Devata, yes. That shameless wretch destroyed the Scarlet King's civilization. Interesting. And our ancestors were forced to flee to this land where we were made to suffer the tyranny of our enemies. Furthermore, she conspired with the academia to cover up the truth of her actions. Yeah, like, yeah, a yeah. And benevolent facade sounds like a yeah, sounds like a conspiracy Just theory. Thinking about it sickens me. <sighs> but the story doesn't end there. Oh no, the Scarlet King isn't truly dead. The voice, the voice of, the of the Oracle, Oracle has been heard in the desert, prophesying his resurrection. Reminds you of the Eel and Inazuma. Yeah, I know. Mark my words, our God shall return. And when that day comes, all followers of the traitor and all the desert dwellers who have been All right, dude, God calm down. Suffer retribution together. If what I'm saying makes you shiver with fear, it might not be too late for you to become a believer of the story. Yeah, he's King. there's the recruitment. <laughs> I can uh can you tell us more about the Oracle? I don't have anything to say to you academia people about that. I think this conversation has reached its Um, end. I give you half not a million more. Yet. This man is a bard. <gasps> Ooh. You again? Deranged academia lunatic. Yes, it's me again. I already warned you that if you weren't willing to sit and discuss things with me, I'd take measures. Give me my money back. I'll time. Comfortable for you. Oh, high time. Listen to me. That address he gave you <gasps> is fake. Or at least you won't find a merchant waiting. For I knew it was a scam. I knew it. They can provide information on a certain item as a means of luring people into their territory. Once you show up, they keep up the act until they have hard evidence that you want to purchase said item. Then they use that to squeeze you. Oh, uh, damn. Hey, shut it, I'll hate them. I'll what hate them. Playing at trying to ruin our business like this, hmm? Uh, time for you to go downtown. I wish to discuss my terms with your boss. Oh, he's the guy who's challenging the boss. The boss made it perfectly clear that you won't negotiate with me then. With you. Yes, negotiate with me. And in no uncertain terms, you won't regret it. But that was then. It does not preclude him from changing his mind in the future. I'm warning you. Don't push us, or this could get ugly. We don't usually get rough mm -hmm. with people from the academia because it just complicates things. For a lunatic like you, though, we might just have to make an exception. <laughs> I'll, uh, 
I'll hype them is probably like, yo, don't you know I'm a five star character? If you're suggesting you're just a lowly minion. A verbal exchange to a physical one, I accept. After all, even the Archons use war to negotiate the ownership of Tabat. If, on the other hand, we can't agree on any means of negotiation at all, then I'm afraid my next course of action will sting a little more than the mere falling Ooh. through of a few business deals. I will jeopardize the reputation, which I know you value above all else. I'm quite confident that if I began to take such action, your boss would willingly approach me himself. However, I fear that by then, some things will have happened that cannot be. Oh, undone. yo, he's really throwing down the uh, the ultimatum also, here. A word of advice. I suggest you tell your boss exactly what happened. I here forgot. Today. Uh, all Hytham is a uh, Dendro character. Telling him in the future. Dendro's sword. Consider this. Have I ever failed to follow through on my word in the past? This guy is really out of his mind. He's really rolling well on those intimidation okay, checks. Okay, then. If you really have a death wish, let's meet a week from today. The pier in front of the Pharos Lighthouse, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, sharp. Don't expect us to hold back. Oh, was that right? Not so fast. Yeah! Yeah, give me my money back. <laughs> did, he, did he actually give it back? Please, I beg you, don't provoke them. We can't afford any trouble with this crowd. They haven't even paid for their food yet. Ah, Mr. Iman, there appears to be fewer staff in the restaurant recently. This wouldn't happen to be because they're all busy spreading the word to the students, would it? The students for what? I, uh... Uh-oh. Well, Dude, this guy knows everyone's schemes. Someone who chooses to do business with a group like that really can't afford to get so flustered the instant someone confronts them about it. Consider the meal compensation for our silence. I'd say you're getting an excellent deal. Yeesh. Wow, did you see that? He not only got us our Mora back, but Dude knows how to drive a hard bargain. But he seems to know a lot about what's going on around here. Let's catch up with him in essence. Yes, um, sir. Hey, um, sir. Excuse me, sir. Uh, what was that back there? You mind elaborating on everything you just discussed, please? Uh, yeah, no just a thanks. thank you. Yeah. My goal was to get to them. And we'll help you at the pier if you want. I'm I'm down for a fight. We're even. Oh, I advise you to keep your distance from them. Since they weren't able to make off with your mora in the end, they might harass you again in the future. Oh, that won't be a problem. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Horses, yeah, come on. <sighs> yeah, what about the lost so item thing? Exactly, exactly. Certain some. Certain something. Who exactly are you two? And why are you inquiring about that? <laughs> I'm a student from the academia. No, I'm not. He already knows. He's like... <laughs> right. Look, yeah, right. <laughs> you should know that those thugs conducting business with you had nothing to do with your lie. Uh, Let's, yeah, let's talk terms. Huh? Oh, yeah. He's really strong. Weren't you saying something about a physical exchange? We can help with that. He doesn't He's like, I don't need vision. your help. Forget it. Exactly. He's Maybe like, not. I don't need your help. still use elemental energy. Otherwise, there's no way we'd go asking for info from I'm... I'll... I... Um... Yeah, Triple A. Just call him Triple A, Paimon. It's fine. Oh, you're talking about me? I don't have a vision. Oh, yeah. I can use well, elemental energy, though. Come on now. I accept. Got a pen and paper? If you're searching for someone who sells that kind of merchandise, Ooh. I'll give you one of their addresses, and you can try your. Are you sure this one isn't a fake address? We literally just got scammed. We'll reconvene that. at the appointed time by the pier. It doesn't matter if you show up or not. Oh, so we're just getting this info um, for free. So, since you were happy to give us this merchant's information, <laughs> does that mean? Paimon's like, thanks for leading me in the right asking? information to buy what we want. Can you tell us what we want to buy, please? We really sound you clueless out here. Part with five hundred thousand mora for something, and you didn't <laughs> even know what it was. That is absolutely true. 
Okay. Well, if you truly are as skilled as you claim, then you can beat the answer out of them when they become hostile. Look, fair enough, fair enough. If you've been making inquiries, then you have to know something by now. Tell me what you know so far, so I don't waste time repeating information. Academia lost something. It's supposed to be here. Probably with the Aramites. Has to do with Les Lord Kusanali. We know it's connected to the Academia somehow. And that not only do the Aramites deal in it, but some students want to get a hold of it Yeah, too. it's some kind you of knowledge. Know almost everything there is to know. But you're unable to compile this information because you've never seen the answer. Correct. This That's... is what you've been looking for. What? He just has it? What? My mind can't tell what it is. Wait, he just, are there multiple of those or this is a knowledge capsule. To put it simply, it's a vessel. It's literally a hard drive. What was I just saying? Dude has an external hard drive. It's a miniature Akasha. Yeah. Instantly becomes privy to its contents. You can you can download it into your knowledge brain. Correct. Anyone. Unlike the Akasha, which heavily regulates who can access what information. Right. So there could be stuff about Kusanali. That's amazing. Paimon wants it. <laughs> it's essentially a convenient and harmless vestibule for knowledge. Unfortunately, it's illegal in Sumeria. Of course, because possess or trade them. Knowledge is strictly regulated here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Means for scholars to transfer knowledge gained from Ermin Soul into oh. the Akasha and are intended to be destroyed immediately. Ooh, and this use. one did not. But despite strict regulations, some of these knowledge capsules will always escape destruction. Capsules? After all, there will always be those in this world who are dissatisfied with life as designed for them by the Akasha and wish to change their fate. Yeah, if it's a scam, at least it's a free scam, right, right, right. Over the past this one doesn't cost five hundred thousand dollars. Five hundred thousand more. Been leaked from the academia. Now, in Port Ormos, the valuable ones are a means to Mora for the Aramites. Gotcha. Meanwhile, those which the Aramites deem to be useless to them occasionally prove useful to the common citizens and hapless academia students. Well, I think that about sums it up. Oh, this is just the same thing. Yeah, so they lost the oh, knowledge capsule. So that's your true object. With our current arrangement, I don't believe I can offer an answer. Perhaps we can negotiate <sighs> further. Still resolved. Fine. Let's talk He's somewhere with pretty easy people. to work with, actually. We're just gonna talk by these boxes, basically. Look at look at uh, lapis lazuli over there. Let's continue our conversation here. If you wish to learn more about the knowledge capsule that the academia lost, then you must help me with something. Sure, I'm done with fetch quest, whatever. A traveling merchant. Unlike the Dory. inferior knowledge capsules, she often has quality goods in stock. Hmm. Some say that as long as there is profit to be made, there is nothing she won't dare to sell. She's interesting, interesting. The academia because most of her wares don't comply with academia <laughs> I gotcha. think she blacklisted me. Oh. I met with her informant, Oof. but it soon became clear that they had no intention of letting me get any further. So I have to be your proxy to buy what you want. Become yeah. one of Dory's customers and earn her trust. This is my condition for further collaboration. Mm. So we can kind of play both sides Why now. Do you want us to meet with her? Until you buy something. This task? You don't have question privileges. Yo, this guy said, don't ask me why. Just do it. Uh, fine. So how do we go about doing this? You two are outlanders who haven't been here for long, so Dory should view you as safe clients. I'll give you the informant's address and their contact password. Beyond the password, though, I have no way of knowing what other tricks she might have up her sleeve. You'll have okay, to sounds good. All right, Paimon, just shut up and let me do the talking. You meet her. She has a keen nose for Mora and a shrewd eye for Wales. Hey, I'm willing to drop half a million on a scam. I taste. think she'll be happy to have me, to be honest. Prepare some funds for you. Buy her highest quality wares and earn Okay, her okay, okay. Life. Give me give me some money. We only just saw a knowledge capsule for the first time. We don't know how to tell which one. Hmm, that's true. Have you two uh, a sight? I can oh. use it. That's a surprise. I, I told you, you I can use elements. To hold you in higher regard. Thank you. Anyway, that ability. I can use elemental sight to weed out the good from the bad. Here are two knowledge capsules. Tell me, 
Can you detect any difference in their quality? Uh, let me throw on my elemental sight. Um, She'll let me. Damn. Try inspecting them with elemental. Ah, one's a little more glowy. How'd it go? Did you see anything? Rumor has it that higher quality knowledge capsules generally appear brighter when viewed through elemental sight. That's because knowledge originates from Ermensor. The root the more powerful power knowledge, itself. they're more richer. The more okay. However, some canned knowledge with a high concentration of elemental energy is of little use in contemporary times, so those capsules are of little value. So it's just basically luck Using when it comes down to it, right? Using elemental is merely a stopgap measure, but it should suffice for earning Dory's trust. Okay. That sounds, sounds good. Impressive. Here's a sheet with the informant's location and contact password, and here is the more of Don't be cheap. You'll need to spend to catch Dory's eye. If there's any more, oh, and be sure All to right. exercise some All right, sounds caution. good, sounds good. Another little buying quest. Almost lately. Your efforts will be for not if they catch you. Matra present. All right, sounds good. Matra? The academia, the yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're the police. Body. Okay, got it. They also handle cases of illegal canned knowledge transactions. Like I said, the academia has banned both their trade and possession. The Matra are razor sharp. You're in for nothing good if they lock their sights on you. Oh boy. If you two want to back out, okay, then we have a deal. If you so we have both stealth Dory, and buying mission combined in one. Duk. Interesting. We'll have an open discussion then. Let's do it. I have a feeling. I am willing to bet that uh, we're gonna end up double crossing all Hytem, all Hytem, and like playing both sides as it were. Once we meet Dory. Hello, what are you two looking to buy? Uh, buy some. Oh shoot, was there? I didn't know I'd actually read it. Oh shoot. Unripe horror fruits, but we usually keep them in the back. I'll have someone. I think that I think that worked. Following the paper guns past the first wheel. Ronok, these two want to buy unripe horror fruits. Show them to the warehouse. Thank you yeah. very much, sir. You too. Please follow me. You two have a fascinating fashion sense. We haven't seen a customer wearing a Sumeru rose for quite some time. I was wearing a Sumeru uh, rose, really? Hold on. Oh. Let me think. Sumeru oh, common merch. Means common merch. We're not wearing it common merch. We're wearing perfect. something. We're obviously wearing morning flowers. Oh, it's code. Uh, my mistake. I do apologize. Oh, that's like to just say we have good. To basically tell them like we got more money than we look, basically. Follow me. Even though. Traveler's dress and Paimon's dress are pretty intricate and fancy. I don't know if I would assume that they're poor from what they're wearing. Before I retrieve your products, I need to confirm a few things. Oh, uh, no. Please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our para fruits were taken by mice. Oh, congratulations to you. Right? Thanks. If better goods come in, you'll be the first to know. You look like you have some skill. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? Sir, make you dizzy. Take the side of tinnitus, please. For something that causes heat stroke. Uh, I think this one. I want, I want the dizzy fruit because that's gets in your head. Right? Right? Yep, that's the right answer. Uh, eating horror fruit that makes your head and ears hurt? Yeah, 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 I know. We're not actually eating horror fruit, though, Paimon. Would you like your horror fruits to be packaged in the Sumero City or Port Ormo style? Oh, I don't know. Um, City or Port Ormo style. Uh... Shoot, um, which one should I do? 
We want the knowledge capsules. We want them to be packaged. Maybe in the Sumeru City style? Because that's where the academia is. I'm guessing that you're going for more traditional packaging since this is your first time here. Wait a second. Sumeru City style means. Oh. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops. I didn't. I didn't read the paper, okay? Ah, uh, I'm sorry. But I think. He's cautious of us. Gosh, okay, 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 okay. I'll take a closer look at the paper. <sighs> didn't know I'd have to actually read. Hey, what is this? Oh, interesting. I didn't know that was there. I've got. Oh, is this funds provided by job? Okay. We can... Oh, all right. I didn't realize I could I could exchange these. Oh wow. Okay, cool. Uh import code chart. Alright. Living by can knowledge. Where are some arrows and projects legally available at the market? Oh I'm wearing a market. Okay, 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 okay. Master to customer. The tiger is a matra. All right. My mice. You can find a rich tiger confiscated by matra. Got it. Got it. Got it. Purchase in bulk. Complimenting a customer of scale corresponds to horror fruit that caused this thing. Okay. 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 A customer of erudition. I don't know what that means, but it's probably not good. Okay. Okay, that's the only one I me messed up. Let's try this again. Before I retrieve your pro please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our para fruits were taken by mice. <laughs> Thanks. You look like you have some skill. Have Thought some I skill. Have some <laughs> that'll make you dizzy. Yep, that's the right answer. But we yes, need okay, okay, fruit. okay. Would you like your hara fruits to be packaged in the Sumero City or Port Ormo style? Wow, you two sure are generous customers. Generous customers, that that's indeed. Okay, everything has been confirmed. This story is waiting for you up at... Shoot, it's the Matra. Run! What? The what? Matra Wait, what? Oh, hey, but Sid, we're young, we're big matches. We gotta get out why did, Why didn't he say the code for it? I'm gonna just run. I'm assuming you have to do some stealth section. What are those glowing spots? Oh, these are the wind skull. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> that's for the the quest that's going on right now. Uh, oh, I'm gonna grab this. Thank you. Um, where where did he go? Higher? He went higher? Oh, shoot. Uh, I'm gonna switch to Want my to better running partner here. Wait for this to uh, go up. Oh, he went up the, those uh, the uh, ramp. Yeah, he's up here. Man, that guy's booking it. Is this a trap? Am I being led to a trap, or is this where the actual warehouse is? Hey, if you're hiding from the rich balloon tiger, come this way. Oh, I am hiding from the rich balloon tiger. Yep. Now. There we go. Dory sounds like Amber. So you were the one who was calling out to us just now. But uh, are we definitely gonna be safe here? These two good customers wish to buy some para fruit, Miss Dory. 
And if there's nothing else... I I'll knew it. He was leading us to the real warehouse. Oh, very good. Thank you. Huh? Wait, you're Yuri? I might sure thought you looked a whole lot scarier. Hey, what are you trying to say, Princess Peabrain? Yeah, you tell her, Dory. I need to be, believe you me. If you don't watch what you say, then you can forget about doing yeah, don't, business. Yeah, don't, don't insult the but merchant. It seems you two have actually done pretty well so far. Not only did you manage to find the informant, your reactions were also pretty sharp. You don't really look like criminals or anything, but I bet my Mora that you've been involved in some shady. Deals, I have actually. You? I've been around. Let's put it that way. Compliment to her. But I can't risk doing business with people who start hopping and puffing after just a few paces. No matter how fair enough, fair enough. they might have. Not only will they get caught by the matra, but they'll also get us into trouble. As decent folks trying to run an <laughs> honest business? business? I don't know about honest. Wouldn't you agree? So that's why I prefer to have customers like you. Good. It's your first time. Let's do it. Here, but don't worry. I won't ask too many questions. Also good. Even you wish to buy enough knowledge capsules to decorate your house with please knock yourself out as long as you will do Mora, then we're all good hey i just got like a dude who's literally made of mora do you want to see him too because he can get you all the more you want probably yo My dear customers, oh, don't worry, I'm not interested in your reasons for buying. I can, however, offer some suggestions. Okay, I'm open. This I'm all example, yours. An analysis of the sociological ideology and dialectic. I know Tibet. someone who would love that. Only three people in all of Tibet have ever studied it, making it extremely rare. It's on sale now. I did a lot of commissions about the dialects of hilly churls. Damn, Paimon, you're throwing shade at uh, what's her face? I I forget the per the little girl who's does that commission. Or how about the architectural styles and construction methods of Tibet in the early Archon War period? With this one, you can become an expert in historic cool. architecture preservation and find an excellent, well-paying job in it's actually any nation. Not a bad idea as far as like a strategy is concerned. You buy a knowledge core and become just a niche in that thing. Mm, now this sounds like it could be useful. Not for us though. Sure, We're looking for something Mora, else. And it's yours. Whoa. And now a discount. Whoa. Whoa. Whatever your hearts desire. The contents and price of each knowledge capsule are indicated in small text on the body of each one. All right, let's try the method that I'll hate the most. Yeah, let's go see what the the most glowy ones are. Okay, okay, okay. Middle, left, left. Uh, okay. This one. And this one as well. Okay. You've really got a good head on your shoulders. I'm quite the eye for quality. Okay. I guess I didn't have to actually do that myself. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to do some game with it. But now it's going to be the game of the bargain. Customers like you are a rare breed. One in a hundred. No, one in a thousand even. Oh, don't flatter me, Dory. You just want my money. special offer for you two. If you spend just 100,000 more and more, you can pick any knowledge capsule of your choice up to a value of 1 million more. Say what now? Interest. That's quite a deal. Spend another 100k and we get a capsule worth a whole million. Let her trick you into spending more. That's how they get you. This is a Yeah, it's like Elon Musk, yeah. But we don't need it, Paimon. We don't need it. We're still spending another, like, 100k. Think about it. We've gone to all this trouble to get this here knowledge. And so far, everything we've bought belongs to all Pinkum. Aren't you even the least bit curious about how this whole can knowledge thing works? Let's have 
But there's nothing we need, Paimon. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm not falling for this gotcha game. <laughs> Paimon's literally a whale in the in her own game. And the traveler's like a proxy for how to, you know, not blow all your money on gambling. I think you're the one. <laughs> You're the one who's curious. That's funny. This is very meta. Paimon's really pushing this. Wow, Paimon's actually just like, no, we're doing it. Okay. Let's look at, let's see if there's any good ones over here. Like, let's look at the entire stock. Yeah, me too. For sure. For sure, Exotic. Oh, you're lying to us. Mm -hmm. Okay, we will do that. Yeah, let's check him. Oh, is she testing us? Pass. Uh, uh, maybe we should just pass this time, or um, I think we should pass. I feel like this is a test. She's trying to see if we're like playing her system, so she's like getting us to do it one more time, and trying to catch us at her own game, you know. No, they're not, Paimon. Well, anyway, the Mora's already been spent, so let's at least try to find something fine. useful. Fine, 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 fine. Let Paimon take a look here. An introduction to traditional Sumeru brewing techniques, the art of throwing spices, an overview of ancient runes. Oh, how about this one? Sword, Sword fighting, fighting techniques, techniques eight. eight. Not sure we uh -huh, have sure. seven, but at least this knowledge should be useful. Sure, Paimon, whatever. We'll take this one. All right. Very good. I'm expecting some new goods in the next couple days, so be sure to check back again soon. Whether it's hand knowledge or anything else you need, bring your Mora to Dory and doors will open. That's a good motto. <laughs> Dory went smoothly enough, let's head to Wakala Fuku's to meet up with all him. All right, I got that canned okay, knowledge. Alright. When's the other shoe gonna drop? We've got some shady dealings. I bet something's gonna go wrong. No, the, Paimon looked through him and picked the sword fighting techniques. Huh. Huh. You two made it. And from the looks on your faces, I didn't want to look because I thought successful. maybe we'd get caught, you know? Wow. There's so many people from the academia here. Why would you pick this place as our meetup spot? Well, That's true. Wakela Funduk is under the academia's control. So naturally, the academia has people working here. I came to Port Ormos under the pretense of conducting a I mean, he's business. got to fit in, but we've got some contraband, yeah, and it might be not the best place to exchange it. Relax. Yeah, for real. No one here is interested in anything we say. And the matcher won't come here. Okay, if you say so. Okay, we get what you ask. So, can you tell us about the knowledge capsule that the academia lost now? Yeah, I know. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was weird. She, like, already gave him the money before we even looked at it. Yeah. That was kind of dumb. Before that. I have to ask, why are you two so intent on tracking it down? You don't have to answer, of course. No, we want to meet the Dendro Archon. If you know anything, please tell us. We've been in Sumeru for a while now, but we still haven't found a way. When we heard that the Academia had lost something that might be related to the gods, we came here in case it turned out to be... Yeah, we're just following loose leads. It's kind of what we do. In that case, 
You're on the right track. A oh, ago, is that right? The academia lost a knowledge capsule in the desert. It's supposedly a divine knowledge capsule. Use it, and you'll gain the wisdom of the god. Wow. There's really such a thing as that? Hey, if we find it, do you think... So, obviously, Dory was not selling that, one? unfortunately. Ooh, on how to find your sister? That's I the hope. Doubt That's it the has hope. Any mystical properties, but it does indeed exist. And it's right here. In, Port in fact, I have it. Ooh, where exactly? In my That's pocket. That's what we need to find out next. Oh, okay. I won't deny that. I am investigating because I'm curious. As to oh, so our interests are aligned. Is that it? Well, then who know, gets to keep it? Is it say scarcity Ormos competition? Also have their eyes on it. It is an extremely precious item. The knowledge contained within may bring great power or wealth to whoever has it in their possession. Several brigades have been vying for ownership of it as of late, but there is still no victor. What the, what, uh, yeah, me too. My personal finances and connections cannot compete with those of the Aramites. After attempting various methods, I finally managed to reach a tentative agreement with several brigades. Obviously, the sibling did her or his or her adventure through Tavat and then decided it needed to be destroyed question mark or at least the archons needed to be destroyed i don't know i agreed to forego ownership of the divine knowledge capsule in exchange for the opportunity to study it after all there's no harm in understanding mm. what it is however interesting there are those who are less amenable to negotiation such as those from Ainul Ahmar. They Very true. believe that the divine knowledge capsule contains the Oh, of Jesus, interesting. And to this world when they obtain it. They interesting. So they are going hard for this capsule. So you kept hanging them because they refused to cooperate with you? Yes. I know Ahmar isn't exactly wealthy, but its members are determined to get that capsule by any means necessary. To that end, they resorted to many methods. More That's why they're collecting money. Gotcha, gotcha. Front. So, I've been sabotaging their business to force them into negotiating. With oh, me. nice. The divine knowledge capsule should be up for a secret auction within the next few days. Ooh. Each brigade will place their own bid, and the prize will be covertly given to the winner. So they're trying to. He's trying to team up with, uh, with the AAA. To ensure the capsule security and to evade the mantra's notice. The winning brigade will not publicly disclose their victory unless I know whose hands the divine knowledge capsule ends up in. My agreements with them will fall through. Right. He's got to know who to negotiate the most with. Reliable source of information, but that avenue was previously closed to me. With you on board now, the situation is different. In other words, you wanted us to befriend Dory so you could find out where right, the divine right. knowledge capsule is. Yes, you can say that. But this arrangement harms none of us. The day after tomorrow, if I get Oops, the opportunity sorry, sorry. to study the Divine Knowledge Capsule, I will relay my findings to you. Will that suffice as compensation? Sure. Yeah, okay. I just want the information. Then we'll meet up in two days. Um, uh, hey, Boom, before you go, we actually bought a Knowledge Capsule for our Yeah, with your I money. Paimon? Oh, my God, Paimon. The <laughs> you just gonna admit that we spent his money? <laughs> You two want to try using a knowledge capsule? Okay. Sure. I can teach you. Doing so right under the academia's nose is a bit problematic, though. Let's do some what drugs. Do you say we head to the basically. Of town? Plug into the network. We gotta go into the wilds. Okay. Um, where's the best place to warp to? I guess right here is fine. Man, I can't believe Act 1 is still going. I thought I was close to done. All right. This place works. Show me the capsule you purchased. A high thumb's going to be like, "Nah, this is rigged." Hmm. Sword fighting techniques 8. Huh. A combat class knowledge capsule. This class is something of a rare find hmm. these days. Since most have been taken by the Aramites to augment their battle capability. Interesting. Really? Why, yeah, what a great buy! 
Paimon's all excited. I can excited. determine the efficacy of this capsule. I can evaluate your combat ability. However, oh. effects will likely be minimal if you already possess high <laughs> Whoops. We can conduct a We are already there, basically. Two battles. One before using this knowledge capsule, and one after. While okay. you fight, we can use an Akasha terminal to monitor your various physical parameters. There may be variances in your physical strength. Wow, this is very tests, technical. As well as it's like the people who abilities. look at statistics and data um, working with the athletic teams using all the metrics and stuff. Wow, are handsome. You must be one of those guys at the academia who got Any advantage you can get, even if it's with math. Um, No. Yeah, you weren't cheating, were you? So, why are you risking getting caught by the mantra for this capsule? When you are unable to understand the researcher's actions, most cases can be attributed to curiosity. This is but one theory. Okay. That didn't tell us anything. Like yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Paimon. All right. Let's begin the test. <laughs> He's like, just fight as you just, normally. I'm just going to forget you asked. All right, I will fight as I normally do. Uh, initiate the combat test. Was it against these guys? Here, let's do this. And then, into the wind. Then they're all dead. Rain outlines your fate. Let me leave you. Illusion shattered. Torn to oblivion. Oh, that was it. I just wasted that. Cool. 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 All right. I'll link your Akasha. The next step is to use hold it in your hand. I'll help you establish a connection with it so you can activate its power. All right. All right. Activated. Do I equip it? Oh, I got to use it. Oh. Okay, I used it. Whoa. Cool. Do I actually get something from this tangible, like a new combo or something? Hey, how are you feeling? Yeah. You mean that it worked? All right. I guess so. Time for round two. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna shoot the second combat test. The wind knows me. Am I supposed to? Shine down. Something's supposed to be different. Clouds high. The birds call. I I bet you they didn't do anything. Now I'll start recording. Oh, hey, son. How's it going? Well, the knowledge capsule he purchased did improve his combat capability. During the second fight. His overall fighting performance increased by 0 0.073%. Point zero seven three. Wait, how much? It's not a lot. It's basically zero. Ah, Dory's such a jerk! She totally scammed us! One million mora? That thing is I told you, Paimon, we shouldn't have spent of it. Of course, this could be because he is so powerful that the capsule's contents were unable to produce a substantial increase. At the very least, this test allowed me to gain more insight. Into oh, now he knows of us more. Our cool, cool, cool. Increasingly worth my investment. I'm heading Good back to know. Kalifunduk. I await your response in two days' time. This is more of for when you ask Dory for information. Pay her as much as she requests. Will do, sir. Will do. <sighs> Two days from now? Okay, alright, alright. I'll grab this achievement real quick. I like how we just get random primos just for doing the story quest along with completing it. two days time so day after tomorrow after seven all right uh got a little stretch how are y'all doing 
just tick tick ticking away Doom. Got it. Let's see Dory today and ask her about where the divine knowledge capsule Sounds good. Now that we know where it is. Hey Dory, we need to buy some information from you. Anything at all, yeah. I like how she has um overalls, but one of them's not on her shoulder. Then please oblige me. Tell me what you have in mind. Oh, I mean customers with pockets as deep as yours would undoubtedly I like that, and I like that her eyes are like look like little coins with a little glimmer in the center. But you know, that kind of information isn't going to be cheap. After all, okay. I worked really hard to weasel my way into the auction site. And not to mention that if anyone found out that I was the leaker, I would be in big, big trouble. But how can we be sure your information is That active? is true. Paimon's finally wising up. You just happen to have this kind of info the moment we need it. Look. <laughs> no. Because to me, anything of value is what I consider to be my supply. Therefore, I must always be aware of what's happening. Dory knows how to work the stocks. In order to more sales. She's in the speculation. As for the information's authenticity, well, you've no need to worry about that. I used a camera to take a picture oh. of the transaction. That way, no one can dispute it. I'll buy it. And it's always a pleasure doing business with such sterling patrons. So now do we get to do the Definitely negotiation game? Oh, just kidding. <laughs> They're like, we know you didn't like that mini game. Here you go. We're just gonna keep going. Oh, so AAA did buy it. A little too familiar. Yes, we know, we know. That divine knowledge capsule is unlike any other canned knowledge I've seen before. Just glowing bright, bright red. red. Well, that's why they think it's the Scarlet the King. Is clearly visible in the picture I took. You can look for yourself. Thanks for the info, Dory. Please, it's my pleasure. It's all thanks to discerning customers such as yourselves that my efforts yesterday were not in vain. Please, don't hesitate to contact me if you ever need anything else in the future. More effort, Dory. I feel like her name should have been Dora, so it's a mix between Doors and Mora. You know, but whatever. Uh, do we get the picture? Yes, we do. Can I, like, see it? Okay. Oh, he's back, back at that place over here. Oh, I didn't even know there's a little elevator that brings you up here. That's kind of nice. Is he outside or inside? Oh, no, he's inside. Right where we last left him. Oh, hey, Tom. We got the info you wanted. Really? All right. Let's hear it. Dory even gave us evidence to verify the intel. Have a look. He's like, this is doctored. Oh, look at that. Clear as day. <laughs> Nah, they, they don't have Photoshop and Tava. To infiltrate the scene of the Aramites transaction. But then to get close enough to take a picture like this. Bold move, Dory. Very bold move. All right. The person in this picture is indeed Misery, the leader Misery, of, of course. The name and is the Misery, that's funny. The capsule he's holding appears to be the divine knowledge capsule. In which case, if we play our cards right, when we confront them next week, we Let's should do it. be able to force them to show their hand. At first, Paimon didn't get why you were provoking these Ein El Achmar guys. But now, it sort of makes sense. Everything's playing right into your hands. All and according to Cake. We can finally have a serious talk with their boss and get them to lend us the Divine Knowledge Capsule. 
Thank Let's do you it. for your time and efforts. Take a few days off while I make some preparations. Let's meet up again on the afternoon of the arranged date. Three o'clock sharp. See you then. Uh, please don't say I have to wind that clock like five times. Okay, good. Oh, hey, I'm sure he's taking his time. Where could he be? Oh, there he is. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Let's head to the pier in front of Faro's lighthouse. Yep. Sounds good. Let's... Let's go for a battle. I'm assuming it's... Yeah, over there. Into the wind. Hope I can climb up on these piers. Hope this is the uh, the end of Act One here, kind of the culmination. Cause I want to start Act Two. I heard it's really good. Oh hey, Thumb. I knew you were crazy, but I didn't know you were crazy enough to actually show up. It was I yep. who demanded that these negotiations take we place. We are crazy. I was and so are you. That you might go Who's crazy? I, I guess we'll find out. But this is turning into quite an occasion. I also brought some backup. I assume you don't mind. Backup. Aren't you the brat from the restaurant the other day? You've come to support this lunatic because he helped you out? <laughs> Fine. I like the little hands-on hips thing. I'm not going to mince my words. Once we're done with you, you'll be nothing more than fish food. Get them, boys! And they died. Uh-oh. Here they come. Uh, good luck, you Come on, Paimon. Throw your weight around a little bit. Um, we'll do Illusion shattered. this first. Uh, Where do you I need to build up some, uh, energy. No, my sword. Rain cutter. Shine down. Now you shall perish. This as one with wind and cloud. Easy. Oh, here we go. Cutscene time. Academia scum. It's a bummer you don't get to get to use Al Hytham. Finally. Because it would have been great. Great. Now we can. Uh oh. He's very sick. It's a, it's a virus. It's a head virus. He's been poisoned by the knowledge. Yep. Oh no. Yeah, his thing is red. His uh, Akash is red. Yo! He's literally seeing red. Yo! It's animation though. Oh, ho, ho. boy just boxed his ears. He's like academia. Whew. No arrest here. Do not impede our work. Is that understood? I'll hate them. Of course. I was only trying to help. Take him away. Yes, there we go. Slick hands picking up that uh that knowledge capsule. Dude, they don't even show Al Haitham's weapon. That's unfortunate. Ooh, mystery. like he used the divine knowledge capsule did not work well for him i've 
heard of numerous incidents of researchers in Santiago life going insane. The state that man is now in suggests that this is a similar situation. This divine Interesting. knowledge capsule does appear to be linked to the gods. Yes, but it's too much that, for your brain to handle, right? Anything like the rumors suggest. Possessing it doesn't grant you divine wisdom or power. Just grants you, you insanity. Hear what he said, "World, forget me." What could that possibly mean? If you know as well as I do. Yeah, all I know is that it's connected to Ermin's soul. Nope. Paimon well, didn't expect the divine knowledge capsule would be so dangerous. As things stand, there is no He's not going to tell us. Remain in Port no. Ormos. I believe Bro, Alan you're going to tell me. You're going to tell me what what was in the like about oh. the cap like We're what was in the capsule. The Bro. Paimon forgot to ask you something. Do you remember of the academia? Do okay, at least maybe we can get this information. Truthfully, I don't. Ugh. Lesser Lord Kusanali appears to exist outside of Sumeru's entire administration. Most of the time, you wouldn't know she exists at all. Moreover, since the Academia possesses the Akasha, a symbol of our deity's wisdom, scholars have no reason to desire to make contact with the deity herself anyway. Yeah, but there's information being kept from us. Everything about Lesser Lord Kusanali is such a mystery! I'm heading back to the Academia. How about you two? But it's almost the day of the Sub Zero Festival. Oh maybe shoot, we, we gotta go back. Soon. We've been rushed off our uh, for the past few days, so maybe a little rest and relaxation will do us good. Then we'll part ways here, I'll hate them. Until we meet again. Until we meet again. Indeed. Frickin' dude stole the capsule. No. Do I deal with this thing first or should I produce the report that the higher ups require mm. he's hiding stuff from us after all we did for him there we go act one complete oh boy all right uh, let's go ahead and get act two go to Samir City I think I'm gonna do just a reminder if you're watching, um, there is a channel point incentive where I will do a wish for 1,600 channel points. I've got quite a few standard wishes to pull. I've got 13. So if you want to drop some of those, you can. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's go. I think I have enough now to enough to Osmanthus level up. Wine tastes the same as I remember. I should have but enough to level up to level twenty. Memory. Just enough. Yeah, it's fine, I guess. I have just enough core lapis too. Man, I'm going to have to grind for Coral Lapis if I want to level him all the way up. And let me grab that reward. Very good. Very good. Okay, to Samara City. Get all the way up there. Oh, no, that's, I have to go inside the tree. Right, right, right. We didn't miss the sub Festival, right? I don't hear. Oh, I can. I know there's a chest in here because I saw a video on Twitter. It's like down here. Yep, there it is. Who says there aren't benefits to a life of wonder? 185,000 Mora, just chilling on the academia floor. <laughs> No way! We just stole these this little person's mora. Yikes, man! Time to go. <laughs> we have to go down here, right? Yep, we're in the right place. Perfect, perfect. 
Dunyazad! What's up? What's up? Dunyazad! We're back! Just as promised. Traveler and Paimon. I'm so glad that you two came back to celebrate Lesser Lord Chris Melly's birthday. Indeed. Festival's tomorrow. All right, all right. We still have a day to spare. So long, but I can't help but feel a little nervous. There's no need to be nervous. I'm unsure that Lesser Lord Kusanali will feel everyone's gratitude. <laughs> Thanks, Paimon. I hope that everyone who comes to the festival will also have a good time. Speaking of which, um, did you manage to make your way to Port Olmos? I did. Uh, kind of? Of course we went. A lot of things happened there. Yeah, a lot of things happened, but we didn't get any leads. Sounds like you two had another exciting adventure. There is another Don't chance. be jealous. It was I honestly just more of a burden than anything. Milady, if you went to Port Ormos in your current state, we'd both be in for a lifetime of trouble. Mia, you were eavesdropping. It's Always. It's a, well, yeah, it's covert protection. He's a bodyguard. On around my employer is part of the job. It's all right, dear. I merely said I would like to go. I know better than to think my body could handle it. Festival's tomorrow. I've been doing nothing but causing trouble for you. So, Dia, please take some time to relax. I'll be fine. Oh, famous last even words. Even when you put it that way, it still doesn't feel right. Don't worry, my guardian knight. <sighs> okay, fine, but only tonight. Tomorrow's a big day, and many no-good scumbags are going to try to take advantage of that. Ah. Sounds like people don't even care about the festival anyway. Oh, I... Uh, you two must be exhausted from your long journey back to the city. Uh, my apologies for not realizing this soon. I've already prepared a room for you to rest. Please follow me. Whoa, oh, gladly. It's so thoughtful. Paimon's so ready. I could use a nap, to be honest. <laughs> What's so great about Shiz Nine Toys anyway? Yo, don't talk about my boy, uh... <laughs> My boy child like that. He's apparently the greatest toy maker in Shiznaya. Alright, let's see this uh this grand estate of Junior Zod. Or are we going to like a hotel? Here we are. It's also fairly close to where I've been staying. Oh, okay. Nice. It's like their guest house, I guess. <laughs> Not at all. And just tell me more about your adventures when you next get the chance. Absolutely. There's a lot to talk about. Paimon can tell you stories next time. Yeah, about oh, tomorrow. Mind? How about we all walk around together tomorrow? Yeah, sure. All of my friends will be working the festival. And Dia's still insisting on her covert protection. Yeah. It'll be pretty hard to relax and enjoy the festival if Dia's constantly hovering over you, right? Be, it'll definitely be easier to get to information with the locals' help. Tomorrow morning. Have a great night. It's a deal. Good night, you I, may be I bet something's gonna happen overnight. Tonight. See you tomorrow. Paimon started to really look forward to the Subzero Festival too. Will there be lots of yummy food? I'm really interested to see how this all oh, plays no, out. No. It could. Thinking about food, it's just gonna keep something's gonna happen. There's no conflict. Earlier, conflict better, yet. Let's... Besides, you know, not knowing where Kusanali is. There's going to be some other conflict that's going to drop. Did we oversleep? Junior's going to be gone or something. The head's going to be like, we can't find her. Yeah, we're going to go to the... Is that, wait, wait until night? Oh, no, it's a different thing. Okay, she's there. Traveler. Paimon, I've been waiting for you two. Good morning, Likewise. Junior Zod. You must have overslept a little bit. <laughs> Not at all. I arrived early. Oh, today is finally here. I must cherish every moment as if it were gold. You're putting you very high expectations for yourself. You gotta enjoy it to the fullest. <laughs> you know it. Oh, it's just that, um, as expected, I had some trouble falling asleep last night. I'm hoping my what is the issue with your so body? Does she also have Eleazar? Whatever it's uh, called? Shall we? Let's start with the stalls over there. Oh, is this the... Many vendors came out of the blue to support the event. Oh, wow. That's good. They insisted on covering costs themselves. Let's go give them some business. 
go give him the business. That's nice of them. <laughs> they all said that contributing to a lively festival atmosphere is more important than money. Especially since we don't often get to celebrate Lesser Lord Kusanali's birthday. Ooh, they're so eating Ooh. over that way! Let's get some fresh this produce. A stall offering foods from the Hafmewa feast. Oh, you could tell straight away. I thought those are some big ass blueberries no. and pomegranates. Mushrooms, flowers, and all kind of fruits. It's all vegetarian stuff. Oh, I don't know if Paimon likes her meat that much. So, what's the Hafmewa feast you mentioned just now? It's another Subzeros festival tradition. People used to set their tables with seven different foods. Oh. Generally speaking, the most common okay. selections were foods like Ukashiba mushrooms, lunar lotuses, Sumero roses, sunsetias, kapalatas, para fruits, and zaitun peaches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So, the Subzero Festival is a vegetarian holiday? <laughs> Paimon's going to be so disappointed. <laughs> you don't have to be a vegetarian to enjoy the spread. We just use the seven foods to symbolize the seven virtues of the Dendro Archive. Oh, that's Wait, cute. But if that's the case, if Sumeru uses vegetarian food to represent the Dendro Archon, then wouldn't the Pyro Archon's festival be full of food like... <laughs> Paimon here, dropping the foreshadowing <laughs> for like two chapters from now. Oh, Traveler, we have to go to Natlon as soon as possible. <laughs> I hope your wish comes true one day, Paimon. One day in... 2025. So yeah, what? Uh, next is Fontaine though, and then Not Lawn, and then Shnesnaya. Yeah, that's all the elements, right? How many elements are there? Six. We're in chapter three. Yeah, I think that's right. Dear customers. Would you like to try your hand at alchemical divination? What's alchemical divination? I think I... We're on the fourth like element, and there's three together. left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Uh, I thought the same when I first heard about it. It is said to be a mysterious craft invented by none other oh, than Lesser Lord really? Kusanali herself. Kusanali invented it? How does it work? It's quite simple. After you give me any two alchemical reagents, I'll use them to perform a random transmutation. A random transmutation? That sounds you're a little weird. Random. So random that it will probably fail. Come on, you're not wrong. That's precisely what we need. After the transmutation fails, your one and only diviner here will interpret the remnants. Excuse me, the entire thing is too well, random. According to Lesser Lord Kusanali, everything is interconnected, and all that occurs can be traced back to fate. You could say this is a pearl of old wisdom. Why does everything sound so much more credible when Junior's eyes <laughs> said it? Are you guys Junior's eyes a good saleswoman, I guess. So that's the true wisdom behind it. This young lady sure knows her stuff. So, how about it? Whatever. Wanna... Let's just go. Oh, I can actually just throw two things together. Um, what am I not going to use? Uh, let's go with. Hmm. Was one of these, and oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Um. What is this? Can I see what these are? No, I cannot. Maybe just a flower, like one of these. Trying to pick items that I know I'm not going to use. Actually, kelp I know I won't use. Oh, this is a Sumeru rose. I might want that, actually. Yeah, let's do... Do the seagrass. Yo, El Fuego! What's up? What's up? Hmm. It's the moon. The I moon? I like the moon. Uh, is it? It looks more like a pie that Paima bit into. Yeah, it's a moon. Hmm. It's a crescent moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Generally speaking, the moon signifies... It means... Uh, wait a moment. Is he really looking it up in the <laughs> book? 
Dude needs to do a little more studying for an academia. It means illusions and lies. That doesn't illusions sound great. Lies? That sounds rather ominous. For yes, real. But this book says that if you trust your intuition and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. It's sure, we'll go with that. Naturally, <laughs> fate will only Thanks. ever show you the beginning of a journey. It is up to you to forge your own ending. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just <laughs> learning as I go. <laughs> Junior Zard knows more about it than the student does. Uh, El Fuego, by the way, if you look at the channel points, there is a new channel points reward to, um, to basically buy a wish by a random pull. Only 1,600 channel points. I wish I could have seen that spectacle. But if you ask me, I'm sure Nilu's dance of Subzeris will be just as impressive. And also, did you hear about, uh, did you hear about Jimmy Garoppolo? Ferris. Attention, soldiers. The Ferris Knight of Flowers. If you want any Yowza candies. No. <laughs> I like that formation. It's a weird guy with a weird hat. Yep, that is a weird guy with a weird hat. Miss Dunyarzad, the children love you even more than the Yalza candies. In the few short days it took to prepare for the Sabzerus Festival, the children have all grown very fond of you. Well, I know the Sabzerus Festival you get candy, so I'm sure they're very excited about that. Uh, um, the hallowed night of flowers. It's an honor that you know my name. <coughs> Attention! In the name of Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, I commend you on your contributions to the glorious Sabzerus Festival. All right, little soldiers. Take your Yalza candies and don't forget your Oh no way. Lord Kusanali. Dismissed. Say hi to your sister for me. I've been good. I've been good. How about you? Yes, my Ferris. Uh just what is going on here? So El Fuego, is it going down today? When you mean final stretch, you mean like next couple days or like any time now, basically. <laughs> Ferris, the Night of Flowers is another Subzeris festival icon and one immensely popular with children. In the past, the actor portraying Ferris would also sit on the flower carriage. Sounds good. It's all thanks to Miss Dunyarzad's it's exciting. that the children can make such wonderful memories today. Oh, dang. So she's like, yeah, that is final stretch. Wow. As are we to you, Vihar. Oh, not at all. Oh, okay, what is the point of Do going through all this? Candies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Festival staple, and I happen to have some boxes. Oh, let's go pick some candies. Uncle Jojo after today? Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> that is the fun part. Each box contains a random flavor. It's up to the luck of the draw. Ooh, oh, it's all fate. And there's also lizard tail and oni kabuto. Huh? Oh, great. <laughs> oni kabuto is a little spicier than lizard tail. Ew, spicy? Did you tried them before? Don't blame me if I choose the wrong one. It's all right. Kind of believe it. I also believe in your intuit. Right. These boxes of candy are numbered one to five from left to right. What are what are me the waifu up to? I'm just chilling today. All right. What do you think, El Fuego? One through five. What do you think? And uh, hopefully you can make a D and D tomorrow. He's my favorite. I was gonna go with three also. Definitely number three. Attention! That's unfortunately lavender melon. Lavender melon sounds good. Luck had nothing to do with it, Paimon. Sunsetia flavored candy was in box number four. How about this? The most important thing oh. is that everyone has a yeah, good Okay, take time. both boxes. Sure. Night of Actually, night, night of flowers. Of flowers. <laughs> Paimon really wanted the carriageless night of flowers. They all basically sound the same. We got our candy, so let's keep going. 
Oh, uh, actually, awesome. I just remembered that I Can't wait to see you tomorrow, then. Uh, yeah, feel free to come over when you're done with work. Can you come with me to get it? Yeah, Dang go. It, guys. You probably forgot because you're so excited about the Saltero Festival. <laughs> uh, how embarrassing. What did you forget? This is an interesting music change, too. Okay, there we go. Maybe you didn't hear El, Fu El Fuego, but I, uh, did you hear about Jimmy Garoppolo? I knew the little lady was such an early riser. I know, oh, right? Oh, we're going to steal her? We're going to kidnap her? Oh, that most certainly is. Good luck. She's walking right into uh, the Niners restructured the last year of his contract, and he's staying with the Niners this year. No trade clause. I think I it's like seven million people. guaranteed or, so, or six million guaranteed w uh, with incentives to add up to another nine million. <laughs> I'm not surprised either. Like now, I'm not surprised. I would have been surprised earlier, but I. <laughs> That's right. It is what I it is. Received any of their mora, but I I'm glad they're able to the restructure. Mayanis would shell out to get you back. I can wear my Jimmy Garoppolo jersey for another year. We'll be fine. Hey, did you scumbags even consider yeah. that the might have hired a merc that outclasses you? Yeah, you get him, Deha. Dia, Dia the Flame Maid. No wonder we mercs haven't heard anything about you for so long. You sold your unruly mane to the highest bidder. I mean, they, they think they know that's how Raleigh... Uh, I think they're just worried about him getting injured. Don't speak so I think Trey Lance is going to start as My long as he's healthy. started working with her gratitude for her past kindness to us. Don't worry about it, my lady. Just some friendly banter between mercs. One punch and those Yeah, they, they're going to get murked. themselves for what they really... <laughs> Aren't your claws all dull by now? Don't get too cocky. Come on, let's get trial going on right now. to a safe location. Yeah, Dia's top priority is their employee safety. Let's go. Be careful, Dia. Don't waste your time worrying about me. This is my job. Look out for yourself. After I've wiped the floor with them, I'll go find you all. Let's go. Do we get the play as her? Please, please tell me I do. No. Wait. Oh, shoot. Uh, escape within time limit. Um, where am I going? Oh, just here? Okay. It only took 10 seconds. <laughs> Oh no, her body! Are you okay? You look a little pale. Are you in shock? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. My body always reacts like this whenever I exert myself too much. I don't. I mean, maybe, maybe they would. You sure you'll? I'll be fine after some rest. You know, there's gonna be talk if he is, all, if he does have a rough start. The, all the Jimmy stands are gonna be out today. in force. They're like, well, if Jimmy started, we would have won that game or whatever. It is tough. Are we just gonna hang out here? I thought we were My being lady, chased. Traveler, found ya. Dia, you took care of them so fast. Any more of them, or rather, did anyone follow you? Dia, your arm. Oh, eh, it's yes. fine. Ah, I'm fine. This, this is just fresh. my flesh arm. I can get another robotic arm if I want. On me at all, but I'm still getting used to this new great sword. Please, let me take a closer look. Come on, it's nothing. Us mercs aren't as fragile as you think. Hold on, you said something about a new great sword. Uh, what happened to the one you were using before? Uh, about that. Well, I no. Sold it I was low on more. She's Mora. poor. Stuff like this happens every now and then. It can't be. The anonymous donation that was used for the venue's final round of Oh, oh, she donated <laughs> more of to it. That's so cute. Uh, hey, Miss Dunyarzad, I wasn't trying to make you cry. I'm I'm not gonna lose my commission because I made my employer cry, am I? It's tears of happiness. Come on, Dea. <laughs> okay, making your employer cry won't affect your commission, but 
and selling your weapon without permission and getting hurt, you'll have to reevaluate your performance. <laughs> Dang. You're so unreasonable, my lady. <laughs> Thank you very much. Just yeah. start dating already. We know you guys are into each other. Don't be like that. I get embarrassed really easily. <laughs> Did you feel any unwell at hands in your side? My lady, your condition. A traveler. Can you take her somewhere to rest? Yeah. I'll look no around problem. the area to make sure we're safe from an ambush. Truly. I'm sorry for the trouble, everyone. Yeah, for real, yeah, yeah. Right on both accounts. I mean, yeah, the culture in the locker room is strong enough to handle pretty much anything, really. Um, yeah, go sit on this bench. I don't know, the, the line, offensive line was the main problem in the last preseason game. I'm not as worried about it as some people. Yes, much better. Once we have both starting tackles in, it should be better. Stuff serious is your illness, yeah. Concerned about it. I guess I yes, please tell us. You've been hanging it over us for hours. I, was actually born in I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. It's terminal. Oh, look at our scales. <gasps> Yo, so El Fuego. Genshin Impact legit just put ALS into their game. Eliazar is basically ALS, but with like a skin condition associated with it. It's kind of wild. Elazar. I've already heard of Elazar. I have. In that case, you probably know about its severity. It starts in your extremities and then it uh, leads into fatigue and eventually your body's completely immobile. I know. They haven't really been consistent as far as health. In any position, really. Sumeru's current medical advancements still haven't been able to find a cure. Uncurable. The disease's progression can only be delayed. Delayed can only be pain. delayed. There's no need to be sad. I've always lived with Elazar, and I came to terms with it a long time ago. The fact that it's progressed this slowly and she was born with it is a little bit more of a departure than ALS, but yeah. Compared to the simple fact that I'm afflicted with this, its effects on my life have been much more painful. For real. It's like, I'll tell you more about it. Well, actually, I'll tell you now. Might as well just talk on stream i know that my family um, loves me dearly one of the characters call a to provide the best environment for me so that i can see when you have money you can take care of the disease but when you don't However, have money you just die i will one day succumb to this bro ah can't i can't did you know <sighs> before i ran away from home this time the world outside of my home didn't even know that i existed dang Since I was a child, all I could do was okay. sit on my bed After and this everything monologue. outside of my window. I'm sure my family's worried and disappointed in me for running away, but I I just didn't want to have any regrets. I wonder if she's reaching all oh, travel looks so I sad. To meet other people. To me there's nothing more I wonder if this is her last festival. And speak with others. Not to mention the incredible time spent preparing for the festival. The joy on everyone's faces here. And all the support I've received from friends like Dia. That's true, but normally not, you know, she's probably like 17, 16, 17, 18. That's a long time. And, you know, it, little kids, you know, you're not born with it. It's hereditary, but the symptoms don't show up till like middle this age. Way, when my final day does arrive, it will be less sorrowful. Dang. At the that's very deep. least, many people will remember that I once existed in this world, right? Yeah, I'll remember you. As long as you don't forget Paimon. Yeah, we'll remember you. Paimon also won't forget about you. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you two so much. I apologize for the depressing conversation. This is, this is out of character for me. To be honest, Lesser Lord Kusanali gave me the courage to do all of this. How? If it weren't for her encouragement, I wouldn't have Oh, that's right, that's right. Step. She was a little kid. That's why she was all depressed as a little kid. She was stuck in her room. Because she had Elazar, and then Les Lord Kus and I was like, I can't cure your disease, but I can be your friend. That's right. Uh, yeah, you're the one who has remained resolute in the face of your illness. That's honestly some of the strongest courage any person can have. To remain resolute in the face of chronic illness like that. 
thanks. For real. There will always be frustrations in life, but I know that the point of living is not to leave behind any regrets. Oh, right. Isn't it almost time? Dang, Junior Zod. For being a... She's probably my favorite non-playable NPC. I gotta say. I think she's number one. Isn't the dance of sub -Zero's about to begin? It's the part of the festival that I've been looking forward to. Yeah, let's not miss the dance that Nilu's doing that, uh, doing the dance. dancing. And the sub festival will conclude amid everyone's applause and blessing. And with that, my wish will also... Then what are we waiting for? Let's go to the stage! Yeah, yeah let's go. We should still make it in time. All right, let's go. Okay, so what I was saying before, there's a character, I'll pull her up, named Kale. Where is she? There she is. Everything's ready. And she's uh, she's presented as like a klutz. Kind of your first moment with her, she's like getting you medicine and she like drops the bottle and gets reprimanded for handling the medicine because she's not supposed to. And then it's revealed that, like, she can't do a lot of the hard work of a forest ranger. Some of the more, um, not stressful work, but, like, more exert exertion-related work. And has to, like, take naps and take medication. And then you learn that she has Elazar. And it's like, oh my gosh, they were hinting at it from the very start. Like, that's the first thing you notice is, you know, you, you feel klutzier. You don't have the finger dexterity. You trip more. I was like, bro. Were you not aware that the law prohibits it, it, it hit me hard for sure. Place without prior permission. Excuse me. This is our space. Academia doesn't belong down here. Over Get there. out of here. Someone's yelling at Nilu. I think I just saw the Academia's Grand Sage. Yeah, why is he here? Why, why he would here you bother this? The dance of sub -Zeros is one of the key parts of the sub -Zeros festival. For real, way too relatable. The sub -Zeros festival. The law also prohibits the private hosting of large-scale religious festivals. Only the academia can host such Oh, events. shut up, Sataria. If you continue to resist, that is even your real name. Order an investigation into every single event organizer. Whoa. The Sage has already granted you much leniency. I advise that you exercise tact. How? Excuse me, is there a problem here? How did things turn out like this? The academia was originally responsible for the sub festival. But they failed this responsibility for many years. I need to speak with them. Yeah, if we force our hand too much, this things might be bad. To swallow, but you're right. I mean, things would only she might not worse. live that much longer. What? What? What are they going to do? Kill her? Oh, Come on. Dance. Aren't you ashamed of pursuing such frivolous and meaningless activities in this land of knowledge and reason? No, Our no, we're not. Created the utopia that is Sumeru City for all scholars who sought validity, verity, and truth, while people like you wish to defy. They can it. exist at the same time, Azar. You can have validity, verity, and truth as well as art. No. Come on now. I believe that our Archon never rejected the arts. Even the goddess of flowers dedicated a dance to her. With your lack of intellectual credentials, I do not believe you are qualified to debate with me. <laughs> but you should be willing Bro, to find come on, man. to tear down this ridiculous eyesore. Yikes. When we return, have the scribe draft an ordinance before the next Snagarbaha day that prohibits public art performances. We will announce it to the public later via the Akasha. Understood. I will inform him when I return. Dude, this is basically Footloose. Hmm. The sub -Zeru's Festival. Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. That's exactly what we were doing. We were celebrating it with dance. Okay? Come on. Oh, Junior Zod. You all saw that just now? Indeed. Yeah. Let's go somewhere the Academia can't find us and perform there. Ah. How do we let everyone know? Not about the atmosphere and the stage. Or we could get people to block them off so they can't interrupt the performance. Yeah, yeah, do that. Ah, uh, no. They just threatened to investigate oh, fine. the organizers. If we were caught, Nilu, it's all right. Don't worry about it. But you've been looking forward to the dance of sub so much. And I know how important this festival is to you. I don't want you to have any regrets. It's okay. 
Seeing you care Aww. this much about my feelings is more than enough. It would be too risky to continue this Obsera's festival at this point. I don't want to get everyone in trouble. Dang, you're willing to sacrifice a risk just for that, huh? So. But you can sneak out for the next Obsera's festival, right? The next one? Is she even going to be alive for it? Smashing success. The next one. Yeah, she knows. She's like, this is it. This is my yes. last one. Okay. Oh, uh, no. It Don't lie. Smashing success. <sighs> Dang. I can't believe this is how things turned out. Those heartless geezers. Should we try to think of another it way? It really is okay. Can we like do the dance outside about. city limits or something? Still, I'd be lying if I said I had no regrets. I would have loved to see Milo's dance. Do dance in her room? I don't know. Like, come on, we gotta. Of course, come to an, unfortunately, an abrupt end. Bummer. A lot happened today. It's a shame the festival ended the way it did. Milo and Binyar's art promised to make the next Subzeru festival a success. Is running out of time. Yeah, I'm sure she knows that very well. All connections have been secured. Construction will be scheduled in the next fall. The project is entering its most critical phase. Power has begun to flow from. Is this from the Akasha? Uh oh, was there an Akasha leak? Oh no. Wait, what's happening? Oh. Let me get my normal Your team back out. Be. By the way, El Fuego, you're still there. I don't know if you were talking to your mom when I mentioned this, but there's a new channel points reward where I'll do a gotcha pull for 1,600 points. So it normally costs 160 um primos for for one pull one pull so 10 channel points for one primo 1600 and i'll uh participate in the gotcha mechanics uh good morning junior todd sorry we're late <laughs> not at all i arrived early I bet she doesn't sleep hardly at all. I'm doing well. There's no need to worry. Shall we go? Let's start with the stalls over there. Yeah, she doesn't seem right. Sure. Uh, Trevor, why are you just standing there? Let's get going. Yeah. I, didn't we just do this? Did Did we turn back time? Hold on, I'll... Um, dude, did we just, we're mixing a bunch of movies. We got, we got Footloose. Now we have uh, Groundhog Day. We're repeating the same day. What in the world? This is a stall offering foods from the Hafnewa feast. You are we're just repeating it. Oh my God. Actually, what? It's one of the oh my God. festival's traditions. <laughs> No way! What they happened? Set their tables with seven different foods to symbolize the seven Some, virtues of the uh, Dendrarca. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Appeared to be in the form of the moon. Really? Grandma thought it looked like something. Hmm. Moon signifies, the moon signifies illusions and lies. Hmm. It's escaping me for now. Wait a moment. Is he He's gonna know. It up in a oh, right. <laughs> It means illusions and lies. But if you trust when am I going to break out of this? Your fears, this the sun will surely rise. Understood. Okay. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just learning as I go. I guess that was still pretty interesting. So, wait. Here, I can pause it right now. All right. Here we go. This is you, El Fuego. Wish times one on the standard banner. Let's see what we get. Okay, it's just the normal one. Alright. Unfortunately, just a regular weapon. Alright. 
I just saw 13 more of those to burn. Okay, are we just gonna... Wow, uh, we're walking real slow. I wonder if I can choose the correct box this time. There's box four. Now that you have your Yalda candies. Yes, my Ferris! Okay. Ferris the next. Juniorzard, I feel like knows, because that's why her she sounds so like out of sorts. Do you want some Yalda? Uh what's the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Great. These boxes of candy are number four. Definitely number four. Excellently chosen. Now I make my own luck. Sunsetia. It's it's on a cooldown, so people can't spam it. At the at the end of the stream, I'll I'll let you do it again if it's not already cooled down. We'll do one more to end this stream. I don't know why, but I knew it must have been number four. Need to leave for a moment? Where am I going? Uh, where are you going? You're just gonna walk off like Are we gonna find the uh Wait for Deja vu. I bet we're gonna find Never mind. I thought we were going to find the um the brigands who are looking for Junior Zod. Oh hey. Got this thing. Thank you very much. Yeah, we don't need deja vu explained to us. Felt something like that today. So why did you run here in such a hurry? Yeah, why did we go in here? Uh, I want to do something I normally never would. It's actually a good test. Here. You're intentionally doing things you usually wouldn't. And Welcome, you two. Are you here for lunch? What would you like to eat? One coconut got charcoal it. cake. You don't look like you're from these parts, but I got I thought it was you... looked really burnt and gross. Coconut charcoal cake? Isn't it that or a thing that didn't look tasty at all? Yeah, we're doing something yeah. different today. We're a new man. Turning over a new oh, leaf in Sumeru. Like... Exactly. <laughs> the traveler does not look pleased with this decision. Here it goes. Ah. Uh, how was it? The look on your face I bet it tastes good. It yeah, it tastes you know, really good. You mean... Definitely eaten this before. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Like I tried this before. Oh shoot! The impression that we've been here many times, even though we are regulars. Um. Oh damn! Oh damn! What's happening? Okay, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. You've got my attention, game. So are there is are there timelines that we haven't even experienced as players at play in here? Where is the exit? There it is. Are all realities accounted for here? Hmm. What else could we do? Is it already night hey, sunset already? Sitting by yourself on that bench over there. What a coincidence, Junior Zod. We meet again. Uh why are you sitting there? Oh, do they, I guess they don't know that. There is the whole like ambush by the oh, guards or whatever. Uh, yeah, Rancis of kidnappers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just now. And thankfully, Dia came to Thank my rescue. rescue. Yeah. I, I started to feel unwell after that, so I sat down here. Kidnappers? Oh my goodness, are you hurt? I'm okay. 
Mia's arm got scratched, but it isn't serious. <sighs> That's a big relief. But Dunya Yeah, let's see if Dunya's art has any inkling. Today. Not at all. I've always been like this. Excessive physical exertion and strong emotions tend to aggravate my illness. Besides, no matter how amazing today may be, it is but a single day. After however many more days, my time will come to an end. Hmm. But this day has been happening over and over. It's not a single day now. And Paimon feels like something's really got you down right now. Maybe she knows that she's not going to see the dance at the end. It really yeah, I'm sorry for leaving you behind. Kyle was a dick about that. Have you noticed um, anything out of the ordinary? Did something happen? Dunya Azad, have you ever felt deja vu? You know, like... Deja vu? You know what deja vu is. I know. <laughs> but my days have been the same for years now. Even if I were feeling deja vu, I suppose I would already be used Dang, to it. that is deep. As a kid, her days were all the same because she couldn't leave oh, the house. Paimon sees. Then, is it only the two of us? It's almost hmm. time. Huh? Nelu's dance of Subzeris is about to begin. Uh, let's go. She's not surprised. She's just waiting for it. I mean, we know it's going to happen. I'm glad we're getting warped there and not having to run. Kind of nice. I was like... Yeah, I knew this was going to happen. You weren't actually going to see the dance. I bet the dance is the only way to break the... With your lack of intellectual the, uh, the loop, the time loop. I do loop. not believe you are qualified. Yeah, we know. This guy's being when an asshole. When we return, have the... Understood. I... Mm, the sub -Zeri. It's yeah, I'm gonna know. There's but yeah, nothing can we can do about it. Before. It truly is unfortunate, but I don't want to cause trouble. True, but <sighs> the next festival. I probably, I probably won't, won't be around, around by then. No. Wait, what did you just say? Uh, no, nothing. I'll be heading back to rest. Oh, she let that slip. Thank you for your help, everyone. Paimon can't believe what those heartless geezers did. For some reason, I felt like this outcome was inevitable. Yep. Why don't we just do the dance earlier? Let's just schedule it up. Be like, hey, uh, we know. Well, I guess they're not cognizant that they're experiencing it all the time. If they did, then they could do that. So, in the end, you still couldn't figure out what that deja vu feeling was all about? Hold on. I don't think so. Same year. That's why Paimon stopped thinking about it halfway through the day. <sighs> then, how about we settle in and get a good night's sleep? For now, we can chalk things up to exhaustion. But to do more thinking tomorrow. Oh, beep. Are they researching like time travel? Continue to monitor the radio communicator and find any calls to the station tower. Mom! Why does Paimon feel so tired after so much sleep? Were we being tested on? Uh, anyway, we should go meet Dunyarzad right away. All right, where's the alarm clock? Let's smash it. I got you, babe. If anyone who's watched Groundhog Day, get this reference. If you know, you know. Great movie.
Another day in the same... Same sequence. Good morning, Junior Zone. Sorry to keep you waiting. Not at all. I arrived early. Oh, she sounds even worse than before. We all are not getting enough sleep, but I bet it's hurting her more because of her condition. I'm doing well. There's no need to worry. Shall we go? Let's start with the stalls over there. Great idea! Let's get going! Traveler? Uh, Traveler. Hmm. What a strong sense of deja vu. Break the loot. Break the loot. How far are we going to get this time? Man, we made it all the way to the candies. It's a uh, box four. Before you say anything, box four. Yes, we know, we know, we know. This guy seems pretty energetic still. And there's also lizard tech. No problem. These boxes of candy are numbered one to five from left to right. Which one do you? <laughs> They're all number four. All the options are number four. Oh, I like your confidence. No hesitation at all. Nope. He remembers. He knows what all the ones are. Oh shoot. Number one is Lizard Tear, number two is Harfruit, number three is Lavender Mel, number five is only Gabatow. Um, really Yo, Traveler's about to break the Matrix. Oh. Uh, wait, how did you know? Don't tell me that you already knew which flavor was in each box. Luck? He was right about all of them? That couldn't have been luck. How, how is this possible? I packed all those boxes this morning, and they've been sealed ever since. You couldn't Yo, have known I make my own fate. These lies and illusions can't keep me down. This is way too freaky. Tell us what's going on. Since when did you get superpowers? It's not superpowers. It's a curse. <gasps> oh, got a wisdom. Hey, where are you going? Kusanali. No, we got... Oh, there she goes. Follow the little girl. Come on, we can run faster than a little girl. Let's go. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? There she is. Come back here. Come back here. Maybe what we were hearing was... The academia doing research on Kusanali, not us, because we're connected with the Im Imin Soul or whatever it's called. So maybe because of that connection, we can like hear little snippets of what she's going through. What are you looking for? Where are we going? Hmm. Oh, shoot. We're breaking the matrix. Things are glitching out. Wait, what? Oh, did we let the bird out? What is going on? What is going on? Finally. Slow zoom. Circular pan. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Dot, dot, dot. Look, that's... Isn't that Junior's eye? <laughs> Wait, what? She was still with us just a moment ago. What's happening here? Why are there two Junior's odds? Yo, things are wild and maybe I had mushrooms yesterday. You already know that this isn't your first of Zeri's festival, don't you? Alert. And sure you <laughs> know how to use this. Ooh, it's a golden one. Where to begin? What's inside? 
has the knowledge of all eventualities. We've done this before, probably. Yep, yep. All of the past Observus festivals. So many days worth of I wonder how many days we've gone through this. 20th, 20th time? Yeah. No, well. No. <laughs> Dude, this is literally Groundhog Day. What? Knowledge of all the Subzeris festivals. Are still scrambled? Try your best to remember. This isn't the first time we've met, and I answered that question a long time ago. Uh, what Paimon think? Oh, it's coming back. Meeting you was the real catalyst for restoring our memories, and the knowledge capsule was just yep, yep, for yep. Showing Because we got the power to change things. We can change our fate. stronger than everyone else's, yes? Mm-hmm. As for an explanation, you two received the blessing of Dendro. We did. And you also have special, sensitive constitutions. It was as we if absolutely a single sheet of paper was separating those memories from your consciousness. Yeah, what's wrong question. with Junior Zod? I think this is the seventh time of it. I'm sorry. It, her condition is progressing, even though it's the same day over and see, over. She isn't doing well. You probably sensed Yeah, this too. Junior Zod is different. The Junior Zod you were just with is different from the first Junior Zod you met. That first Junior Zod is in front of you right now, and she doesn't have a lot of time left. What we need to do now is break out of the cycle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It looks like you're almost done sorting out your brain. So that means we failed the other, like, six times we've done this. Oh, yeah. I'm Nahida. Hello, Nahida. I know you've introduced yourself before. What's happening? You can awaken our memories, and you seem like you know what's going Dude, on. Dude, we're basically in Majora's Mask. Hey, hey, don't tell Paimon. Even you don't know. Everything in this world runs in a loop. This cycle is called the samsara. You, Whoa. And everyone else are all stuck inside a one-day samsara. Why? Ask for the truth. That's on you to find out. What? Why don't you just tell me? If you were told the truth instead of discovering it yourselves, it would literally blow your, your minds. minds. Okay. I don't know how you'd be after that. We'd be insane, just like the guy who had the crazy divine knowledge capsule. I can only give you surface-level help, like bits of information and subtle hints. And the rest of the time, I'll be doing all I can to slow down Dunyar Zod's illness. She looks like she isn't doing well at all. Her illness yep. gets worse after she's literally the living through the day. Festival. If we can break out of the samsara, I might be able to save her. But as things are right now, she's just a small bird in the sky that's about to lose its last feathers. All I can do is raise a gale to delay her fall. You're Dang, sure dude. Weird analogies. <laughs> analogies are wonderful tools. It's true. They let you use true. existing knowledge to understand unfamiliar things. Dang. It's better than I could have explained it, okay, to be honest. So, with what you know so far, what you can use an analogy things? to explain analogies. Like, an analogy is. Like, uh using wax to fashion a key to open a lock that you don't have the key to. Oh, when you enter contemplation, you choose text for the thing. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Some text entries can be associated with one another once interpreted as associated. Oh, interesting. Once text entries on a certain page, seems to have happened oh. before traveler it voice lines getting stronger and stronger my mind feels exhausted even though i haven't done too much thinking what is going on 
Can I associate? You've already experienced oh, the there we go. Festival many times. And the day of the festival seems to be in a perpetual samsara. The Grand Sage said, Go celebrate the birth of that Ooh, god to your heart's content. Uh, ha, ha. Did he mean something more? Does he know? The moon, illusions, and lies. What do they all mean? Uh, hold on. Uh, that's going to be associated with the deja vu. Yeah, time loop. That should be it. In the flow of time is endlessly cycled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every single day. We're in a time loop. You've given similarly wrong answers in the past. Can we try again? Still the wrong answer? When I thought back, that made a lot of sense. A simple time loop can't explain some of the phenomena. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go. Let's go again. Let's go again. This festival is happening every day. If that was the name, we can waste an infinite amount of them. Hurry and find the truth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Or maybe I couldn't get the right answer yet. I don't have enough information. That was just like a tutorial. Let's think about our current situation. This time loop is being caused by something, and it's probably being caused by an experiment. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have all the pieces to complete the puzzle. Raymond's memories say that we've already done this many times, but let's go talk to people again. It's more productive than sitting here and scratching our heads. <sighs> I have to go soon, but I want to keep going. I know my wife is cooking something because I can smell it all the way in this room. <laughs> okay, we'll go check out the stall owners. Hold on, let me check something real quick. Okay. Uh, she was making bread. I think that's what I smell, but I know she's making hey, other stuff too. Again. I don't know what else she's making. Friend. Did you come back to buy something? <laughs> OMG. I guarantee the freshness of my products. She makes bread every couple weeks, yeah. As you yesterday. know. You can have some bread when you uh, come over tomorrow. I feel like ah. you're reliving the same day. What brought this about? I hurried back from the forest yesterday. For the love of God. Hmm. Um, to put it another way, if you really, really <laughs> have to come over tonight. <laughs> Hmm? Did you actually come back hmm? from the forest yesterday? People are going to think we're crazy. What kind of philosophical nonsense is this? Didn't you know yeah. that no one dreams in Sumeru? <gasps> That's so right. Sumeru Only the kids know. Someone to daydream with. Uh, he actually has a point. Is this a dream? Is everyone dreaming? No one dreams in Sumeru. True. Hmm. Really were just Could be connected. Would have woken up a long time ago. Maybe the deja vu only comes if you can dream. Like all of the past days are connected to dreaming. By the way, uh, El Fuego, you should be able to. Oh, it's the so cooldown should have ended by now if you want to check it out. That you felt compelled to compliment me I want to make sure it's working properly at least. Uh. Actually, did run in. Uh, I'm not sure if it's Ooh, related I to divination. It. I told you the god's divination is highly accurate. You just hadn't fully understood its significance. Yo, You're okay, really good. It works. Excited about this, huh? That's exactly why we came back. Uh, help you better understand it. Yeah, he doesn't know Paimon. Well, <laughs> He's so dumb. You're admitting that you don't have a clue. We already what, knew this. What kind of situation did you get into? You're not gonna believe it. We've actually divined our future many, many times. Huh? Uh, hold on a second. Uh, I thought you guys just lost your wallet or, or fell for a scam. What you just said. Are you serious? 
does that kind of thing actually Hey, at least he has an open mind to it. Him, I knew you weren't going to believe it. Marvelous. Truly marvelous. I believe you. Recall the interpretation of your divination. The moon, illusions, and lies. 13 minutes, hold on. It okay, really sure. felt like an omen. When you say it like that, the divination does sound like it's related to what's going on. I believe that the Archon's revelations are never okay, more than okay. big hints. Anything more specific is beyond the reach of mere mortals. Hmm. The book only says, if you, you trust, trust your instincts, instincts and, and overcome, overcome your, your fears, fears. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. So that's okay. How it is. Looks like fortune telling is just fortune telling. Oh. No good for Damn, Paimon, you tell him. There's the flower guy. We can talk to Deha, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You gotta do this to save Junior's art. She definitely helped. At this time of day, he has probably just finished beating up those kidnappers. All right. Let's see if we'll uh, either get deja vu with another weapon, or we'll get something new. We'll break the loop. Here we go. Ah, uh, no dice. It's a book. We got a book. I'll go this way. I know, I know. I'm fine, my lady. It's just a scratch. Perfect timing. Both of you are here. Paimon, traveler. You came at just the right time. Listen, there was a dangerous... Yeah, kidnappers. A gang kidnappers, uh -huh. yeah. You saw? Then why didn't you jump in earlier? If someone was protecting Miss Dunier, Zod, I could have went all out. <sighs> anyway, can you do something for me? You want to uh, no, you, you can do something for me. Rest up while you check to see if there's still any kidnappers around. Did Paimon get that right? How did you know what I was going to say? You need to uh, say something convincing. Hmm. Oh, oh, the Claymore. Dia sold her greatsword to raise additional funds, and then she was injured because she wasn't used to her new weapon. Nah, I have normal fatigue. Feels exhausted, even though I have. So we know that one. People in Sumeru don't dream. The moon illusion. Okay, okay. So I can. I've got to submit this as the conclusion. Got injured because you weren't using your current greatsword. I didn't tell anyone about that, including Miss Dunia. Actually, either one of those would have worked. Have known. And just now, you literally took the words right out of my mouth. What's going on? All right, so this is the situation. <laughs> it's kind of hard to believe what you just told me. First, let me make something clear. Most of us desert dwellers might not be the scholarly type. But we do have basic common sense. Yeah, haven't you noticed something is off? Than usual. I'm interested in anything and really gloomy. Yeah, she isn't the same as before, but her parents said hmm. that this is how she was like at first. Huh? At first? At first? I don't quite understand what you're all talking about. I'll go rest on the bench over there. Weird. Are you angry? Oh, no, she's... You got no emotion at all. All right, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt since you knew about my greatsword. Let's make this a quick trip. Miss Dunier Zod isn't completely safe here. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Oh, we're going to Nahida. Oh, I bet she's not going to be there, though. Oh, she is there. Okay, okay. Nahida, we brought a friend. Are you busy? So there's two junior darts for real. Busy. Okay. It won't help to bring anyone here. We just wanted her to see the real junior Zod's condition. The real junior Zod? Uh, where and who are you talking to? Huh? 
Yeah, she doesn't know. I told you that you two are special. <sighs> Other people can't see a mini or Miss Dwarf. I knew it. I knew it. She can have a change of heart. She gonna believe? Is that like her medicine? She's got a keen intuition. Oh Mercenary's intuition. Over there. Is that? Wow. How perceptive. Does she have? Does she like authority? smell her or something? Miss Dumuzad, she's she's lying down here, isn't she? How's she doing? Her condition's really bad, and she's basically in a coma. How did you know she was here? I can sense her aura. Sense her aura. Damn. There are also lingering feelings of something like regret or. Wow, that's some keen intuition. What happened? Do you believe us now? The Subzero's festival has been repeating itself. So, you think the sages are behind this? Yeah. I do too. They've always been against <laughs> us. Wouldn't surprise me if they're using the Akasha to intentionally repeat the Subzero's festival. It's not a sick a joke. Sick they're joke. trying to brainwash hmm. people. Academia's sages are the only ones in Sumeru who could pull off something like this. Maybe there's more to the Akasha than we know. I think so. Right. Didn't you awaken our memories using something Opened up our minds to brainwashing. Akasha? That means you must know something about the Akasha. The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate. Oh, the Gnosis. It is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's Ooh, power. Oh, damn. The wisdom of the the Akasha. going to be after that. And it grants knowledge to the people. A gnosis could do that? No wonder Jesus. the Akasha is so magical. It's being powered by the gnosis of Sumeru's archon. So, uh, this Nahida you mentioned. What did she say? Oh, she say? can't hear her either. She said, and Paimon quotes. Yeah, we know this. Compiles the wisdom <laughs> of the entire You don't need to hear Paimon say the exact same the line again. Wait. What's up? I get the Grant's knowledge part. That's what people have always used the Akasha for. But compiling the entire They're farming us for data. How does that work? They're treating us like hard drives. It's basically just like modern technology. Did she mean that? So the sages are basically a social network. Into the Akasha? Most of the information for the Akasha comes from Ermit. Yeah, that's what oh, I thought so yeah. too. That sounds about right. What do you think? A two way street, probably. Okay, Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. Uh, is it stealing people's dreams? People in Sumeru don't dream. What a strange phenomenon. And that's why there's My abnormal fatigue? exhausted. What's happening right now seems to have happened before. Hmm. I'm gonna submit this as my that conclusion. That doesn't sound right. Okay, I'm... maybe not. This one? Yeah, okay, okay. You mean the Akasha is causing our mental fatigue? Huh. Now that I Are they like using it, our brains while we're asleep? Kind of like how, uh... The um, kind of like when you get a virus, your the hackers can use your computer to like run stuff, run processes, even when it's like quote unquote turned off in the background, kind of jacking into your uh your hard drive or jacking into your CPU. When the desert dwellers set off on their quest for knowledge, a sage once said, "Knowledge always." Comes we get this price. free knowledge, but at the same time, we're like allowing the sages to use. The collective brain power. Compiling the entire country's knowledge. You think the Akasha mm -hmm. pulled a one I do, I it's do. Extracting information Dang. From they really pull in some insane parallels in this act. Who knows? The Akasha can put knowledge into our heads, so who's to say that it can't also poke around in there? We don't know any specifics. What's Yeesh, the point man. Of doing something like that? Just think about it. If you could combine the knowledge of every single person in Sumeru, then you can basically turn Sumeru City into a single massive brain. Yep, you're linking them all together. This hive mind could make breakthroughs and problems that even the smartest geniuses can't crack. An excellent deduction. 
And the analogy comparing Sumeru City to a massive brain? <sighs> I love it. In that case, mm. we should take off our Akasha terminal. Nope, right it's away. not gonna work. Maybe that'll solve this problem. Yeah, I don't think it'll be that simple. Yeah. I was only wearing this for show in the first place. Didn't expect the sages to cook up such a conspiracy. <sighs> Mark my words. When this is over, I'm getting evidence and exposing this whole thing to the public. Yeah, let's go. I don't think it's going to be that How simple. How does everyone feel? Oh, hey. We all, we did take it off. Huh? What is it? It's always the sound of a beat. Oh, that! Yeah, that's I right. At the end of every single day. About. It's a single soft beat that sounds like it's coming from the Akasha Terminal. The sound Interesting. Of beat. Could it be a prop tone for when the Akasha is operating? Heard the same sound point. Did we? That's probably an important clue. We weren't using our terminals, but we heard a beep anyway. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Traveler, did you hear that? I heard it too. Our ears aren't messing with us. There was definitely a beep. But it sounded like uh -oh. it was coming from it's the at the end of the head. day. We took off our Akasha terminals. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're going back. Uh oh people are going to die. Hold on. Hold on. One moment, please. Boom. Going back in time. Oh, never mind. I thought we were restarting the day. <laughs> Good. You adapted quickly this time. Wait. At the end of last night? Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, did we fail at severing our connections? But now we can at least confirm one thing. The Akasha definitely has something to do with whatever's trapping us in this cycle. Oh, Paimon doesn't get it. Why would the Akasha go this far if all it wants is everybody's wisdom? No, it goes further than that. It's extremely difficult for lab rats in their experiment to understand why they're being treated the way they are. If we're lab rats, then what are you? Nina, you've never told us anything about yourself. Hmm. I guess I'm the moon. The moon? Oh. Wasn't that the result of our divination? Anyway, and the sun will always now, rise. It won't help you get closer to the truth. So you no, that's not the point. You just want to know who you are. Okay then. Dia helped us a lot yesterday, so let's go find her. If Paimon's reading the time correctly, those kidnappers should be showing up soon. So we did end up in another day. <laughs> like it's a. All right, she's back. We don't have to do the Very same well. thing over again. That's I've nice. I've already taken care of those kidnappers. My lady, did you get hurt? <gasps> well, what wait a talk? minute. Why are you both gawking at me like that? You, you're, you're unharmed. It, you didn't get hurt this time. At this time. What, what do you mean this time? <laughs> Why are you so surprised that I managed to get out unscathed? Those kids were amateurs. No, I mean, you're great, Sword. Shh. How did you know about my great sword? I haven't told anyone about it. Please, don't hmm. tell Miss Junior Zai. So she has lost her memories after all. Oh, maybe she didn't get injured because she Anything knew strange. their moves already. You already know that I got a new great sword. Oh, she's getting used to it because unconsciously so she's used it like fifty it times already. A new weapon you could feel so familiar. Yes. Oh, this damn. I've already used it to fight a countless number of battles. Yo. That's right. Mm -hmm, Both mm -hmm. mercenaries and warriors heavily rely on muscle memory. Only knowing the theory of battle won't get you anywhere. Traveler, what do you think? It could be because yeah. you moved the Akasha Terminal. I'm feeling really hopeful. 
No, it's not. Well, everyone is. I don't know for sure. Yeah, it's not gonna. I, We're, mm, no I doubt it. I doubt it. About, but it's still dangerous I don't think the cycle's so... broken yet. So you want us to take the near gods somewhere else to rest while you? Yeah. Did you know what I was gonna say? Can you read minds? Only for today we can read read, read minds. <laughs> Only for today. I don't think we've broken free at all. Yep. Yep. Getting injured, everything seems to have stayed the same. Hmm. Listen, Nahida, we found out that bet this has already happened before. She's like, Yeah, we've already done this. She fought the kidnapper. Do you think the Samsara has been broken? Have we saved Dunyar God? Like, nope. Really? Good job on all that progress. Get some good sleep tonight. Because you're not done. What kind of an answer is that? Tomorrow will come. Everyone assumes this is common knowledge. Nope. But the only way you can know that for sure is if you experience tomorrow. Mm hmm How many todays has it been? Mm -hmm. Is it possible that today will be followed What is by tomorrow? Yesterday? Tomorrow never comes. Does tomorrow truly exist as anything beyond a made-up concept? Damn. Getting philosophical now. It's even possible that this entire world... This is why I love the movie Groundhog Day. Because it's just, just like... Been one endless Sub-Zero's festival. You really can get deep in the philosophy of that case okay, study. Okay, no more. Everyone's brain is already shut down. <laughs> That's why it makes no sense to waste your energy thinking about things you will learn tomorrow. Get some good rest. You know, use the bathroom and flush well, your anxiety to take you away. <laughs> okay, Nahida. Huh? Hold on, what did you just huh? Just forget it. <laughs> a duke duke? Oh god. You could try that. Is that You're so really strange? just a little kid. <laughs> They're not amused. Uh, it's so strange and so against common sense that. You were sounding kind of smart a minute ago. Yeah, we're just gonna go to sleep. Even though it's happy and lively at the Sub Zero's festival every day, it seems like it's been a long time since we've really gotten to relax. Beep. Nope. We're going again. Sacrifice. People are going to start dying, huh? We're going to go the next day and there's like going to be no one at one of the stalls or something. We're still in the same day. Well, I don't know if all that's true. But you got me and baby, I got you. Yeah. I got you, babe. Yep. Why did you kill her? <laughs> Was there a thin of blink? You would have spent yep. the night with new worries, with tomorrow still out of reach. In that case, you might as well rest within that brief moment of hope. An opportunity like that doesn't come by often. Blink thought it might This must be really frustrating for Nahida to just see this little progress. Oh, Nikita knows us a lot better than we know her. Not for her. She's known us for months. What I mean is, even though I had asked you to solve this puzzle, you two are still the only ones who can see me and sense my presence. In other words, if you weren't here, I may as well not exist. That's why you two have been everything to me. Get it? Yeah. Liter she's they're literally everything. Anyway, that's enough chit chat. So, Traveler, did the new clues yesterday help you gain a new understanding of the situation? Huh? Why are you scrapping your previous theory? Yeah, so it's not a time loop because things are progressing. Oh, yeah, you're right. Gosh, People's physical conditions reset. should also reset, but they're not. Exactly what I've been saying. Physical conditions should also reset. It's all in their so... minds. Imagine someone walking into this situation from the outside world. The outside world is still going on 
like Mondstadt's having tomorrows and Inazuma's having tomorrows, but it's only in this city where there's a constant time loop. Mercenaries rely heavily on muscle memory, and Dia was able to use her experiences to avoid injury in later Samsara cycles. And the beep is a prompt tone for Akasha operations. We still hear it every night, even though we removed mm. our Akasha terminals. Okay, Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, yeah, as it is that. the manifestation of... We've already experienced the Subzeru special... Gonna try to relate, associate the bodily memories with the Akasha sound. Memories are deleted every day. If all our memories of a day are erased at the end of that day. Then we would unwittingly relive the same day again and mm -hmm, again. Mm -hmm. So that Akasha sound is deleting our memories, but our bodies remember. <sighs> Said our memories are being erased at the end of each day. They're harvesting our memories. Mm -hmm. So eventually seasons should change, right? It should be like getting colder and it's like, wait, why is it winter already? Unless there's no seasons here. Nahida's gonna be like, nope. Hmm, a brilliant deduction. Nahida, Did we get? Tell us if we're right or wrong. Yeah, please tell us. <laughs> spotted something. It's as if you've mistaken a pyro crystal fly for a firefly in the night. You lost sight of its true nature because you focus too much on your perception that it glows. That isn't simple at all! Still the wrong conclusion, huh? Why don't you go talk to Miss Dia again? You might learn something new. There's, it's, yeah, it still doesn't answer all of the questions. She did help us find our latest clue after all. Let's go! Is it going to warp us there? Okay. <sighs> okay, I think I'm going to end this off here. Man, this is, this has been really fun. I've... This might be my favorite um, Archon quest yet. Thinking back to Leeway's and Inazuma's quests, I think this one is my favorite. It It's definitely got me captured, and I'm excited to come back. But unfortunately, we're going to have to do that a little bit later. Um, I'm going to have to avoid Deha. Where is she? I'm going to have to avoid Sumer City altogether for a little bit. Um... Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you to El Fuego for coming in and dropping some channel points. Thank you to uh, Exotic for completing our goal and getting us a, uh, a Archon of our own. We got our friend uh, Zhongli. Where are you, Zhongli? Zhongli? There you are. We got Geodaddy ready to put up shields Does for us. This wine tastes the same as I remember. With the kind of crappy spear um pretty excited to do that and we're almost ready to do some uh abyss runs because i've got diana and Zhongling to level 80 i want to get Klee to level 80 as well but that's going to take a little bit of time and uh and yeah it, next stream will be probably either thursday or friday depending on on time wise and we're going to be or if it's thursday we're gonna be doing portal 2 uh if i can't do thursday then i'll see you guys on friday for some fall guys and uh i mean that's pretty much it uh go check out my discord if you want to hang out with the community there's a lot of fun people there we can talk Genshin impact we can talk splatoon 3 we can talk nintendo games um uh you can also check out my youtube channel where vods for my entire Genshin run i think we're on this is going to be video number 22 in the Archon series. Pretty crazy that it's lasted this long. You can go check that out. There's clips and highlights over on Twitch if you haven't visited that yet. And uh, I have a Twitter where I post live updates and also some other of my interests content-wise. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, uh, your support means the world. I love you all very much. Please make sure to stay safe. Stay healthy, and of course, stay positive. And I'll catch you guys on Thursday or Friday for either Portal 2 or Fall Guys.
Bye-bye.